Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. This is version 4.8. There's a limited story quest which has a new limited area. So let's just start this. I think we can only play part 1 today. So this won't be long. I assume it's just an hour maybe. But yeah, let's enter focus experience so there's no interruptions. So Monstead. I didn't think it would be starting in Monstead. I thought we would be at in Fontaine and then we go to the new area. <laughs> we go to Monstead. But we will still meet Nilo, Navia and all right, so why monster? Uh, a mystery strange book. Okay. Oh, are we going into the new area just like that? <laughs> straight away. No story, just straight. Through. Okay. Finally awake. Wait. Uh, you're finally awake. Yeah. Just, I just was wait. Sick. wait. Can I? Oh, we still have to pick an option. Though. Where are we? No idea. I just woke up and then we were here. Oh, my mom's head is all busy. The scenery here looks different too. Traveler, please don't count my one. Someone abducted us and brought us to some strange place that we could never leave. <sighs> you're right. Better to think of this as the beginning of a new adventure. <sighs> Thank goodness you're still here. If I woke up alone, she probably would be trembling in a tree hollow. Just like that. Okay. <laughs> Just like that, we straight away enter this new area. Okay. What's all this path for now? We might be able to meet someone and figure out what this place is all about! Hmm... Oh boy... Forest of Blessings... There's a part here... There's another one... Oh, there's a lot here, hold up... Oh, okay, one, two, three, four, five... There's five parts of this map... What the hell... Uh, I guess it's just like excerpts of this. I thought it's like a, like a cute Oculus or something. All right. Traveler, those plants by the road look weird, you. It's origami. They almost look like they were made of paper. Yep. Uh, and those two plants over there. Origami, yeah, yeah exactly. Look like pieces of origami. Shade of a lotus leaf stream. Don't tell me you forgot how to chop. I I didn't forget firecrackers. Stream I'm firecracker. Okay. not sure if what I remember is correct. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll have forgotten how to sing, much less notate a score. You still remember why we call you stream, don't you? Yeah, because I've got a great singing voice. Although these days, the name seems more ironic than anything. Not just a great voice, one that evokes the gentleness of early morning dewdrops flowing into a spring. So cheer up and make the jump over. If you're still unsure, just use that roll of magic bread. I won't laugh, I promise. Now don't tell me you've forgotten how to use that as well. I haven't forgotten everything, Firecracker. Your name, for instance. It's kind of hard to forget that you're named after your fiery temper. Now do me a favor and pipe down for a second. I'll be right over. Is he gonna fail the jump? <laughs> you saw it too, right? Paimon's not seeing things, is she? <laughs> this place is getting more confusing by the second. Anyway, I... Uh, why don't we go after those two frogs? They didn't look evil or anything. Plus, they might be able to help us out. Sure. Oh, 
follow the fox. And the chest. A reward on the road. Alright, we also have this new thing. Wait, that's one? Oh, because we started the quest, I think. Uh, we're supposed to go where? There's a waypoint here, right? Guess we're not catching up to those frogs. They were so fast. I couldn't even tell where they hopped gas killing yet. Uh, excuse me, honored travelers. This is not far from the cliff of prophecy, by chance. Paper hamster. Chubby paper hamster just talked. Every animal is talking. You call him chubby. It's got a slightly thicker layer of paper on you, that's all. Allow me oh. to uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Arnd, okay. and I'm an elder of the Forest of Blessings. Uh, I've been waiting here for the hero of prophecy to arrive. <laughs> Traveler, could you pinch my mom just to make sure she's not so bleeding? Oh, pinching, you say? Well, I can help with that. Although you'll have to get a little closer. My arms are rather short. Uh, that's alright. We just need a minute to collect ourselves. Okay, let's think things through. You know for sure this isn't the world we're familiar with. The talking paper animals and all the paper trees and plants make that pretty clear. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to the world. That is what the prophecy says. <laughs> Hearing me, I completely forgot to introduce you to this world, didn't I? <sighs> and here I am, getting all excited by the arrival of the hero. <laughs> Have to excuse me, this old brain isn't what it once was. All shell and no nut. <sighs> no, uh, Perhaps my once glossy paper has faded past the point of no return. It's okay, really. You can just tell us all about this world now. Oh, let me think. Hmm. Where, where should I even begin? In. Everyone forgets. Pretty much forgotten everything that happened in the past. Uh, right. Uh, I, I believe the story circulating along the pulp of this forest goes as follows. Uh, a long, long time ago, three goddesses created this world and named it Simulanka. Three goddesses created, okay. Simulanka, it's Sri Lanka. <laughs> the goddess of creation, who presides over matter and magic, created the mountains and rivers and gave us life. Her powers also paved the way for Simulanka to exist in numerous worlds. After the goddess of creation came the goddess of prophecy. With dominion over the stars and the course of fate itself. She induced the sky to spin and the earth to move. Even uh, to this day, uh, the statue still stands tall at the highest point of constellation Metropole. The final goddess was the goddess of fate. She who reigns over all treasured tales and dearest wishes. She bestowed upon us the fierce and everlasting feelings of love and hate and showed us the meaning of death and hope. Whoa, they all seem super impressive. Sounds like they really did a lot. Of course. The all new residents of Simulanka come to the forest to thank the goddess of creation for founding this world and travel to Constellation Metropole to witness the divinations of the Goddess of Prophecy's numerous oracle. After that, they make their way to the end of the world and tell the Goddess of Fate about their most cherished dreams. <sighs> well, at least that's how it used to be. Uh, how it used to be? Did something bad happen? Oh, yeah. That has to do with the hero you're waiting for, right? Yes, yes, this old, old brain of mine may have forgotten many things, but I will never forget the day the evil dragon descended Earth. upon our forest, came down from the skies in an ominous black mist and ravaged our homeland. Its gigantic footprints can still be seen in the kingdom of breezes and bells. Probably the footprints are incredibly the... fortunate that no one was hurt. Terror doesn't stop there, I'm afraid. 
Ever since the attack, the calligraphy tavern in the forest has been closed. No one knows why, but it's a catastrophe of the highest order for us, forest dwellers. Uh, a catastrophe of the highest order? All because a tavern closed? If we were talking about Mondstadt here, Paimon might understand, but is it really all that serious? Good. Goddess of creation above. We take even the greatest flood over the closure of the tavern. What paper will dry out with time? Fallen trees can be restored. But the calligraphy magic tavern tonic. is the only source of the magic tonic that sustains all creatures in the forest. Magic what? Magic tonic. It was gifted to the forest by the goddess of creation herself. A, a special potion that helps us maintain our vitality. Really. Well, our bodies will gradually crumple and become brittle until oh, they eventually a, disintegrate entirely. Colors will fade and we'll start to lose our memory until yep. we can't even remember our own name. Uh, well, wait, Grandpa Omen, does that mean you've already. Oh, I'm afraid so. The color has all but completely faded it. from my paper. Something to be honest, is... all I really remember is that I'm supposed to wait here for the hero of prophecy. But I've already forgotten who gave me that Trust order to begin it. with. Oh, brave pixie. May the goddess of fate reward you and your friend for your kindness. Could it be you're the heroes I've been waiting for all along? Um, not sure how we know that. Plus, we can't even remember how we got here, so it's not looking too promising. Well, uh, this is turning out to be quite the conundrum for old almond brain here. <laughs> The prophecy never mentioned anything like that. Uh, for now, why don't you come with me to the Hut of Blessings? The forest fairy lives there. Maybe she'll know what to do. Why is it all a prophecy? Oh, a forest fairy? Like mm. one that knows magic? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> she's prophesized to join the hero Wait, on their journey. Well, then she is this one of our exactly characters? the kind of person we need. Please, lead the way, Grandpa. Is this someone we know? That's the waypoint. There's another waypoint there. Oh, that metal over there looks but pretty strange. Well, that's what the calligraphy tavern looks like. Now it's lost all of its color. Focus on the story. Oh, for the like lilies. Oh, I got this is a fountain stuff. Wait, what? Huh? Oh. Ah, oh, this reminds me of the last uh, event in Sumeru. What the? Okay, no color at all. Everything is just paper. Probably the restore the or something. What does this foreshadow in that line, I wonder? <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is the place. Uh, if you could just wait a moment, the fairy should be. The fairy, huh? Traveler! Hyman! Oh, we know who that is. Hyman <gasps> knows that voice! It's Nilo. Oh. It's really you! I'm so happy to see you! Already, ha <laughs> ah, Sorry, sorry. The rest of the girls are not gonna be happy with this. So Milo is the forest fairy? Well, you certainly look the part. <laughs> Thank you. But to be honest, I'm still getting used to it. It's the weirdest thing. I remember I was reading a book at the Grand Bazaar, and then I guess I must have fallen asleep at some point because, well, then I woke up just like this. So, also a book, but Grand Bazaar, we were in Monster. And in my dream, someone spoke to me. You're the fairy. They said, you are the fairy of the Forest of Blessings. We are now the go, hero. Save the forest with your magic. Hmm. At first, I thought this whole world was just part of the dream. But no matter how hard I tried, 
I couldn't seem to wake up. I couldn't find anyone I knew from the real world either. Sounds similar to what happened with us. We also have no idea how we got here. Anyway, sorry for my reaction back there. <laughs> I got a bit too excited when I saw you two. It's okay, we totally understand. We were looking for a way out too. At least we know we're not alone. You're not happy, Laura. Oh, blessed be the goddess of fate above. You're already friends with the fairy of the forest. Grandpa Almond, thank you so much for bringing my friends How long here. has Nilo been here? Could you let others know I'm coming? I'll head over right away. Oh, of course, leave it to me. Hey ho, pistachio. <laughs> Today truly is a blessed day. <laughs> wow, Nilo. Looks like you made short work of getting to know the locals. Well, when I arrived here yesterday, Grandpa Almond told me all about the state of this world. Since they think of me as their forest fairy, I just felt like I had to try to help them. Forest fairy. Oh, so you mean like using some kind of forest magic to repair the cabin? I wonder. Goddess of flowers, but now it's a forest fairy. Unfortunately, I don't know how okay, to use the magic of this world. I've tried using my vision, but it doesn't seem to work here. If the books stored in this hut are anything to go by, <coughs> this seems to be the place where the goddess of creation first made the townspeople of this forest. She folded the pages of books into small origami animals, gave them life with her magic, and with time, that's how the forest of blessings took shape. Hmm. Maybe one of the books here could teach us how to use magic. I read them all, but only found one reference to magic, the incantation. Abracadabra means to create what I say. This is a world made up of words where fantastical powers can be wielded by all. Okay, so basically everyone in this world can use magic? That's nice, <laughs> but still kind of vague. Yeah, from the other books I read, it seems like this goddess really likes to play fast and loose with the details. So, what should we do now? Um, didn't you say you were going somewhere, Nilo? Oh, yes. I was going to help some of the other residents of the forest. They've been busy making preparations to reopen the tavern, so I thought I could help out. Right. Guess we should just focus on what we can do for now. This whole thing is making me pretty nervous, actually. It's like I've been pushed on stage without being taught the choreography. <laughs> Since I'm already wearing the costume, though, I might as well try to play the part. It's what a professional dancer would do, and who knows? Maybe I'll find my own magic along the way. All I can do is try. At least you're optimistic. Thank you. Then let's go. Okay. And even. Okay, so this is the quest. So there's three parts. Ah. So we will get Kirara and Navia on part two, part three, I think. Now we're in the first one. Oh wait, this is a world quest. Okay, there's a world quest. This is where the story is focused on. Yeah, we're, we're still focusing on this. It's focus experience. <laughs> so what's that to me? Oh, help the forest. Okay, we need to help all three. Okay. So let's see. Oh, there's appendix or so. So maybe there's four parts. This one is tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe there's four parts then. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Uh, okay, these are the quests. This is the free Kirara thing. Okay, that's the outfit of. Oh, that's the outfit. The freak is... I don't know where. We might we'll find out later. Uh... First off, let me do two pulls. 
You never know, I might get it now. Uh, this is 48, I believe. No. And 49. There's no way I get this early. Yep. It's probably gonna be 70 something that I get her. <sighs> Alright. Anyway. This is the Look, one we the saw. forest fairy is here, and she brought her companions. Grandpa Almond was right; they do look promising. Hello there, everyone. I heard you were working on the piping for the calligraphy tavern. Is there anything we can do to help? Oh, we wouldn't dream of troubling you with our petty problems, my lady. Don't you worry; we have it all under control. Ah, you sure about that? Because from where Paimon's floating, the piping is looking pretty chaotic. No, you just have to change this, change this, and it's done. Ah, yes. <laughs> Too easy. We have my careless friend to thank for that. He promised we could leave the pipe connecting to him, and, well, the results speak for themselves. Hey, I just wanted to inspect each pipe. This is the network the magic tonic has to flow through. I was just trying to be thorough, so <coughs> I, <laughs> I disassembled the whole thing. Yeah, and now you've forgotten how to put the thing back together. <sighs> Have you been eating too many nuts again? Because you are what you eat. Please don't fight. I know everyone wants the tavern to reopen as soon as possible so that the forest can return to normal. So, why don't you let us help out? Yeah, we're here anyway, so we might as well be helpful. We just need to reassemble these pipes, right? Well, if you're offering... Basically, the pipes need to be connected properly to allow to the magic tonic anything. to flow through. If you put the wrong pipe in the wrong place, the tonic will get stuck halfway. Yeah, Attention to detail is key. Says the guy who messed up the whole thing in the first place. Alright, let's do it. This is... Very easy. Like, two pipe or three. Okay, there's three pipes. They are very easy now. One... Yeah. Two... This is not even a... Uh, puzzle. Okay, but this one... Hmm... Why is this just one shape? We have to rotate it twice. Um, this one do. How will this work? <laughs> okay, um, let's see what happens. So I guess you have to rotate it at the at the end here later. And now. Ah, okay. That was the only different thing. Oh, amazing! You did it! Now the tonic will flow into everyone's cups without getting stuck, right? Oh, gotta say though, Paimon is starting to get pretty curious about this magic tonic. Um, could she have a teeny tiny sip? Just a little taste, please? It's not greed, it's curiosity! Well, if it's really just one sip, I guess that Imagine if Paimon changes color or something. Just be careful. This is one of the I last cups left it. in the entire forest. You're gonna We're supposed it. to save it for our research. Okay, here goes! Oh, Paimon. Don't spill it. What was that? Oh, it's stuck into Paimon's candy! Wait, is this just regular ink? Wait, does that mean... What the legend says is true? The goddess of fate used ink to compose her stories on paper. And the goddess of creation used her power to bring those tales to life. No wonder the cavern is so important to the forest. Maybe the fading disorder occurs when the ink within the body dries up. That would explain why the beings here are forgetting their own story. Okay, it's ink. I'm not really sure I can really wrap my head around this conversation, but there's no need to get all worked up on our behalf, my lady. With the pipe installed, I'm sure the tavern will be up and running in no time. Oh, what do you mean you can't wrap your head around it? The fairy is recounting the story of how the goddesses gave us life. In fact, I've seen the goddess of creation with my own eyes. Really? 
Don't be ridiculous. There's no way you're old enough to have met her. We're the same age, and I think I would know considering we went to tell our wishes to the goddess of fate together. So stop talking a load of paper mache. Oh, fine. It was my grandfather, all right? He was the one that saw her. He said that one day after he finished work, he saw the goddess of creation grant us life with his own eyes. Is this goddess of creation In her someone? Hands, she held the very paper used to form our body. Or something. She whispered something into the or pages, maybe... and then suddenly a paper frog was born, ready to leap into the world. Oh, it was spectacular! <sighs> Cut the theatrics, will you? You weren't even there. Wait, so that's it? I'm a kind of creation magic to have a little bit more pizzazz. Oh. So, in your world, the creation of life is a much showier affair? Huh. I'm learning something new every day. Um, well, that's not exactly what Paima was trying to say. Magic doesn't have to be spectacular. That's enough out of you. What you're boasting is confusing our kind fairy. Oh, no, it's all right. I actually think I understand the magic of this world a bit better now. Thank you. The honor was all ours, my lady. Traveler, <coughs> come on. We should make our way to the next location. Sure, let me open this. A reward on the road. That's one and a half. Yep. Uh, <laughs> There's some world quest too. Would it be faster if we just... Wait, did we go this way? Um I should have brought Wanderer here. I'm assuming we will see Wanderer so. There we go. Another chest. A reward on the road. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was an enemy. Why, why the prop here? That scared me for a while. Okay. <clears throat> More frogs, but they have colors. Don't scream! Your rhythm is off again. At this rate, it doesn't even matter if the tavern reopens. The band's not even going to get any gigs. I'm sorry. Uh, hello there. I hope you're not interrupting your rehearsal. Wait, these are the two frogs we saw on the road a while ago. Oh, the lost his color. is here. For the love of lotus leaves and dewdrop stream, you've really got to put in some effort now. Oh, but I... Oh, don't pressure yourselves on my account. Are you rehearsing for a show? Sure are. You see, our group regularly performs for guests at the tavern. We've been out of work for quite some time, with the closure and all. But after hearing of the fairy's arrival yesterday, we figured we needed to get in performance shape right away. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Back at the Grand Bazaar, Zubair Theater is always busy with rehearsals too. The Grand Bazaar? Do people there sing on lotus leaves as well? Yeah, they do. And it's a really big one. You're the conductor of your group, aren't you? You remind me of Mr. Zubair. Ah, then he must be an ambitious director. One who would do anything to avoid disappointing a single member of the audience. It's just... Hmm. Is there Nothing. anything we can do to help you, Mr. Stream? Oh, no, no. My problems are mine and mine alone. It's just... After the tavern closed, I somehow forgot how to sing. I'm always a few beats behind everyone else, and I keep singing out of key. You're our trump card! Our best singer by a mile! I know, I know, but... <sighs> So he is a victim of the fading disorder too? Don't be sad, Mr. Stream. Whenever I've forgotten important dance steps in the past, 
My friends at the Grand Bazaar always stick by my side to encourage me. They smile and patiently tell me everything's going to be okay. Then they play the melody for me over and over until the steps finally come back to me. Now it's our turn to help you. We just need to help you remember how to sing, right? The trailer's got a great sense of rhythm. How we can help keep that? you in time. Well, what do you say, Stream? I think it's a great idea. Just focus on the lyrics. The fairy's friends will help you stay on beat. Are, are you sure? This is really asking a lot. Don't worry about it, Mr. Stream. It'll all be worth it when the tavern reopens and we finally have the chance to hear your marvelous singing voice. All right, then. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll give it my best shot. Oh, that's it. Just tell me once you're ready. Oh, there we go. Uh, direct the right most froggy to jump at the right. Oh, you just have to direct it to jump. Let's see how this works. I'm curious. Yeah. Oh. Signs are okay. in time. Oh, that's easy. A little bit easy. Give me to the dance with them. Okay, that was easy. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it again. Goddess is above. He's pretty stick when it comes to the performance. Just do it exactly like how we rehearsed. Thank you, everyone. Thanks to you, my voice is once again as clear as a flowing stream. Glad to hear that you're feeling better, Mr. Stream. It's also about time for us to go to our next destination. Back, right? <clears throat> Okay. We've got one final stop. Let's go. That's two out of three. All right. Is this an answer from this world? And we got the one right there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is a new one. Uh, we have to go there. There's no teleport thing that we. Uh. Okay. I'll think about how to do that puzzle when I have time. Not right now. <laughs> that, oh, you guys have viewpoint, but no, that. This is one of the pieces, right? Oh no, it's. Oh, it's. To help jump, right? Oh, that's interesting. I guess this is helping to go up, not go down. Yeah, this is to help go up. I wonder if this is a mechanic in that line right there. Okay, this is the third one. Oh, my dear Citrus. Citrus? <laughs> What? We can't have you out of commission with the tavern about to reopen. I'm sorry, Grandpa Almond. It's the truth. I was just too excited for the reopening and must have fallen asleep in an awkward position. Grandpa Almond! We're here to help! Oh, Hazelnut, son. I you could not have come at a better time. Uh, please allow me to introduce you. Uh, this is the bartender of the Calligraphy Tavern, Miss Citrus. Uh, Miss Citrus is supposed to add all kinds of delicious fruits to the magic tonic. Her additions are what turn it into the finest brew in the land. She's indispensable to the operation of the tavern. I appreciate the kind words, Grandpa Almond, but... Ah, uh, my neck. Are you alright? Ah, uh, terrible timing. Getting a kink in my neck at a time like this? Could you give my tail a little twist? 
That should help free up the movement in my neck. I would do it myself, but I can't reach my own, and Grandpa Almond is too old and as light as a feather. The neck and tail are connected? Of course they're connected. <laughs> just like how you can't have a rainbow without rain. Hmm. Anyway, you just need to position me at the right height to pick the fruits, and then put them in a the barrel over there. Um, I don't think I get it, but okay. Adjust the neck of the paper. Uh, this is an alpaca, okay. And the direction she's facing. I don't think I understand, but. Wait, how? Hmm, this doesn't seem quite right. How do you wait? How do you Oh, if you're further, then it's taller, okay. Wait. Ah, okay, I understand now, I understand now. Hmm, this doesn't seem quite right. But it cannot be too far. But I'm not hitting it. So bad at this. Hmm. This doesn't seem quite right. You said that one. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, put it in here. Okay. I I I, I hmm. was confused. This doesn't seem quite right. Isn't this? There we go. Uh, put it in here. Yeah. I'm so bad at that. Perfect! Oh, my neck feels much better. So there really is some kind of connection between your neck and tail. Thank you so much, everyone. I can rest easy now, knowing the drinks at the tavern will be just as wonderful as before. That's another problem solved! Okay, that's three out of three. I'll keep this close. One more to finish the commissions today. <clears throat> now what? We turn to the heart of blessings. There's gonna be a lot to explore in this area, and we have to finish it before the next mission. Guess our commissions will all be doing here then. <laughs> Alright. Well, since we've taken care of most of the tasks, all we need to do now is reopen the tavern! But we still don't know how to use the magic of this world. We don't even know why the tavern closed in the first place. <sighs> oh! What about the method that one hamster mentioned? You should try it, Neil! You mean the creation magic his grandfather saw outside the hut of blessings? Hmm, I wonder. How exactly did the goddess of creation give them life? Maybe you don't need to understand it. Just give it a try. Everyone here calls you the forest fairy. Maybe you have the magic powers already and you just Maybe don't just know do it. the usual dance and that's your power. <laughs> In other words, this forest is a stage. And all I need to do is step out into the Do the, the usual spotlight. dance probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like a fairy tale. Well, we are surrounded by talking origami animals and magic potions after all. Almost seems like anything's possible in this place. You're right, Paimon. We won't know anything unless we try. Let's see. In that case, let's see. 
a full internship with hands. This is how you do it, right? I think I got the folds right. Whoa, your origami skills are great! I is it gonna go alive? I people making something similar. It looks really cool. So I took some time during my break to learn the basics. It's not a bad way to stave off sleepiness either. Well, how do you feel? Sense any, uh, magical powers flowing through you? Mm. No. No? Abracadabra. Mm. What am I missing? Magic words? But how am I supposed to know what the goddess said to bring them to life? Oh, good point! You're the forest fairy, Nilu! What do you want to say to the new resident of your domain? Mm -hmm. I bestow upon you the blessings of the forest and offer you a home in this land. And then he goes alive. Your name shall be Harisara. Harisara. May you bloom in this world okay. as beautifully as the flower I love. <sighs> Actually, what? My name is Harisara. It worked. It actually yes, worked. Would. Well, peel my shell and call me a nut. <laughs> I never imagined I'd witness such a miracle at my age. It's just like what the story said about the goddess of creation. Shell? Miracle? Nice to meet you, Padisara. I'm Nilu, the fairy of this forest. From this day forward, this place is now your home. Hello, fairy Nilu. I hope you'll grow up happily in this forest. Grow up. <laughs> oh, you can leave the little one with old Armin for now. Oh, uh, this sure brings back memories. <laughs> it's been so long time since we last held a welcome ceremony. Here, Hanisara. Mm. Uh, come to Grandpa Armin. Well, now that Milo has mastered the goddess's magic, we should be able to reopen the tavern, right? Mm -hmm. Grandpa Almond, could you send a few people to check the underground space beneath the tavern? Oh, of course. Uh, may I ask why? The moment I used magic, I sensed something strange down there. I have a feeling it's connected to why the tavern had to close down. Uh, of course. Uh, look into it right away. Make sure you listen to Grandpa Almond, Potty Sara. Don't go running off on your own. Potty Sara. Listen. Running! Okay. <laughs> um, hey, come back here, you! Wait. Don't run off on your own, and it's really running. Yep, that's Nilo's creation, <laughs> alright! She's got so much energy. Anyway, how did you manage it, Nilo? Well, all I did was say my wishes for her out loud. Maybe the magic is in the words themselves, just like the book said. This place is seeming more like a fairy tale by the second! I mean... Or some are called you know, the forest of blessings, so it kind of makes sense. Well, anyway, my mom thinks this magic suits you perfectly, Nilo. When I brought Harisara to life just now, I was able to sense the magic flowing through the forest, and the flowers and trees, and inside the creatures that live here. But for some reason, there's a hollowed-out space beneath the tavern. Oh, so this is a tavern. That's why everything is white here. We're back, my lady. That was fast. You were right. There was something under the tavern that I've never seen before. It looks transparent and gave off a clinking sound when I knocked on it. Transparent and clinking? Oh, I got it! Uh, what is already? it? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to use fairy tale logic, Pipe. That's right. An empty ink mm -hmm. bottle, to be exact. Still remember the taste of the magic tonic you took a sip of, Paima? Yeah, it was ink. <gasps> oh, Paima gets it now. Traveler, Paimon, will you come gather some ingredients with me? I learned what we need to make the magic tonic back in the Hut of Blessings. Sure thing. What do we need to get? Hmm. A setting sun that never sets, a dragon that cannot fly, and a moon that only shines at night. Wait. I... Where are we supposed to find crazy things like that? Okay. Sunset, yes. Sure. What? 
How did you get that so fast? <coughs> Logic, huh? <laughs> Lucky guess, my life. Setting that never set sunset. Oh my god, that was so sweet. Okay, I wouldn't have guessed that. Collect the materials used. I mean, we already have those, but we I guess we need fresh ones. Wait, we are Nilo. I just realized. Everything's 85. Wait, is it matched with my trap? No, my trap is 88. Oh, of course, no birds. C3. Hey, we get this Nilo. Sunset here. Can we just go with Nilo anywhere we want? Uh, dragon that cannot fly. Can we get you one more. Maybe in battle. I want. I really want to try. It's been a while since we used to. Use. It's haunting music. I don't have a market day. Ah, we got it. Uh, I want to use more. Climbing up thing is still a problem. <laughs> we can just run up. Give me just a second. I'm gonna go fetch an ink bottle from the other room. I like this and get it. All the ingredients are super tasty, but somehow the final product turns into ink. Well, anyway, Paimon's not going anywhere near this stuff this time. Not even if you bribed her. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's see. According to the book, first you do this, and Gone. this, and then... And it's done. It's done! Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Wow! Magic sure makes everything convenient. super convenient! Magic tonic. Okay, so we go to the tavern, right? Give it to um. Oh. Yes, this is it. This is exactly the magic tonic we need. Grandpa Almond, could you take the concoction to the room underneath the tavern and place it next to the transparent bottle you found? I'll handle the rest. So if you fill the bottle, the colors all come back? Of course. As you command, so it shall be done. <sighs> I still get nervous at times like this. It's just like when you step on stage and you can tell that every single person's gaze is fixed right on you. <laughs> Thanks, you two. I can't tell you how great it is to have you by my side. Almost makes me feel like I've been blessed by the goddess of fate, too. Let's go. We shouldn't keep everyone waiting. This tavern will open up once we line up. Let's hope this. <clears throat> Forest, please heed my words and accept my blessings. Abracadabra. May your spring of wondrous magic never run dry. And may all who call you their home lead happy, fulfilling lives.
Okay. Fairy Milu is amazing. Wow, it's so pretty. What a beautiful cavern. She was all it matches the before. scenery of the forest perfectly. I was so surprised when it suddenly like opened book. up like yep. that. Just like a pop-up book. <sighs> I, I remember now. I remember everything. It was me. I was the one who went to the top of Constellation Metropole and witnessed the goddess's prophecy. The hero who shall save this world will descend upon the cliff of prophecy. The hero. Supported by their companions, shall restore peace I mean, to this world. So the prophecy really did have all the answers. You just the forgot the first half. That's why I was waiting near the cliff of prophecy. <laughs> wonderful, simply wonderful. There's still some hope left for old Armand after all. Is the cliff of prophecy that place with the huge mural? Cause that is where we woke up, but we don't remember anything about how we got there. Also, we didn't get a change of clothes <laughs> like you. Are we definitely the heroes? If not you, then who else? Uh, you, you've already helped the fairy revitalize our forest. To us, that makes you heroes. Prophesized or not. Alright. Either way, we're going to keep adventuring, even if it's just to figure out how we can get back to our world. Yep, that's exactly right! How many people we need on the road is kind of our thing. As expected, the words of the goddess of prophecy always come true. I'll come with you. You can't hurt to have a magical fairy tag along, right? Heroes and fairies, dragons and new adventures. <laughs> this is sounding more and more like a fairy tale by the second. Hmm. I would say your next stop should be Constellation Metropole. It's Simi Lanka's most prosperous city, uh, just across the sea. Once you've arrived at the Astral Garden, at the highest point in the city, uh, maybe you can try seeking divine counsel from the Goddess of Prophecy herself. The Goddess of Prophecy. <coughs> Who is... Yeah, the fairy is Nilu. We have who? Navia and who's the other one? Tirara. I'm afraid so. There are still other people who need my help. Kirara and I won't Nilo go far, though. And, and I'll come back to and visit Navia, them. Someone, and I have time to spare. Here. So be a good girl, Paddy Sara. And help out Grandpa Alman whenever you can, alright? Mm-hmm. Got it! Paddy Sara will wait here for you. <laughs> oh, that's a good girl, Paddy Sara. Ah, I almost forgot. If Constellation Metropole is where you're heading, we need to take the Express. Maritime Express. I'll head to the station first Not thing tomorrow train. morning and wake up that lazy station master for you. Uh, why don't you take a break for the rest of the day? You should save with a beautiful scenery of the forest before you go. That's great! I'm definitely feel tired after being on the go for so long. There's a spot in the tavern with high on it. Oh, sounds like someone's ready to order. Oh, well. If you're offering, I will take a glass of your fruit tonic. <laughs> um, but hold the tonic. <laughs> okay. So that's part one. I'll say interesting. <laughs> so that's a done one. Four point six. Okay, that can be kept for another minute. Uh, I don't think we have 160, so I don't think I can do a lot of pull. But if we can, that we can even up to 50. No, we're short of 20. Well, I guess we can do the test run. Since uh, I think I will combine all three days or four days of this story to into one video, so I'll maybe cut some parts out. I don't know if I will. <laughs> right, try hard. Let the show be. Stay put. Focus on blue. You know? So I 
completely confused on how to play her. Let's do another pull, make it 50 pt, even it out right? Wait, that is... Oh no no no. So, stop at 50. Nothing. Alright. So, yeah, that will be it for part 1 to be continued on part 2, I don't know, tomorrow or the day after, when I have time. <laughs> To be continued. Yeah. Alright, guys, it's the second uh, part of the story now. Page 2. Let's continue. Focus experience. Uh, and also. Well, I do not have Nilo for now, not yet. But I know there's Nadia. I know there's Kirara. Anything you need delivered? And I know there will be Wanderer. <sighs> what do you want from me? So I'll use them first. We might meet them also in the second part. Alright, let's go wait to the next day. Let's just go there first. Similanka. I believe we have to go here because I think the next area will be here. <coughs> okay, wait until 8 to 12. <coughs> Everything that happened yesterday wasn't just a dream, then. <laughs> well, it's time for our next fairy tale adventure. We should head to the station Grandpa only told us yeah, about. I found the station already. While wow, exploring. <coughs> get up, said you. Time to get to work, you lazy bones. Oh, 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 I can't, uh, can't remember how to call the train. Just let me sleep a little longer. Station yeah, must. Sure. I'll remember. <coughs> Don't try to pull one over on me, young man. Your fading disorder has been cured. I saw you chucking cup after cup of magic tonic in the tavern last night. <laughs> uh, you must be mistaken, Grandpa Alman. That guy definitely wasn't me. Oh, you remember my name now, do you? Then it seems like you're all better. You had no idea who I was when you were thinking. Now, enough of your nonsense. Get up. The fairy and her friends are going to be here any second. All right. I'm up. I'm up. The Maritime Express should... The Maritime yes. Express? Okay. <laughs> That's more like it. Ah, lie there any longer and you'll start gathering dust. Is everything okay? And here we are. The hero, his pixie companion, and the forest fairy. Oh, I, I didn't know you were already here. Oh, merciful Macadamus. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry you had to see that. Oh, it's all right. I might know the feeling. Who doesn't want to sleep in first thing in the morning? Does the Maritime Express run out of Constellation Metropole? Uh, yes. E each train needs a conductor to operate, and the conductors are always from the capital. The more difficult maneuvers are a little too complicated when you're made of paper. Oh, so you mean the people of Constellation Metropole aren't origami animals like you? It's probably people we know then, like Nilo. 
Well, the city welcomes visitors from all over the world, so you're bound to run into some forest dwellers there. But yes, generally speaking, the residents of Constellation Metropole look quite different from us. Or maybe ah, you'll not. see for yourself soon enough. Here comes the train. Oh, okay, totally not even with us. Not like this. So they're just... They're just not origami. Lah. Pleasure to meet you, everyone. My name is Will, and I'll be the conductor for your journey today. I'm assuming you're the one who called the train. Whoa, it's a toys, toy yeah. Man. It's a toys, uh, okay. Yes, we, we called the train. The hero and the forest fairy need a ride to Constellation Metropole. <clears throat> the hero and the forest fairy. The ones from the prophecy. Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? We could have prepared a far more luxurious train. I'll just go back and get a better one. That's okay, Mr. Wheel. We're trying to get to the city as fast as possible. We just need you to get us across the sea. In your capable hands, I'm sure we'll get there in no time. Of course, my lady. It would be an honor. So to go to the next area, we have to go through the train. Well then, all aboard, sit anywhere you like. We'll get a stunning view of Simulanka no matter where you're seated. Okay. Wait. <laughs> oh, breakfast. That's someone familiar? Did one of you just say something? No, not us. It wasn't me either. Uh, breakfast. Um, oh, come back. <clears throat> hmm. Is it? Sounds like the voice is coming from inside the train. <sighs> it's Kirara. Fish. <laughs> Five one. Chicken drumstick. Yeah, that's Kirara. Oh, gotcha. What the? What's Kirara doing here? Oh, she's already wearing the outfit as well. Okay, everyone is wearing their outfits then. No, no, no. Is she a friend of yours? Oh, yeah, Nilo hasn't met oh, her. Oh, let Paimon introduce you. This is Kirara. She's. Oh, wait, actually, maybe we should wake her up first. Is it morning already? Yeah, oh, morning. Morning? Huh? Huh? Traveler! Come on! It, it's you? Yeah, my outfit's so different. Which means? Oh, thank goodness! It was all a dream after all! Um, <laughs> oh, gotta hand it to my imagination! No, it's it all not. felt super real! There were these toy people, but they were alive and they could talk. <clears throat> Madam, sleeping overnight in the train car is prohibited. <laughs> I, it, it wasn't just a dream? It's alright, Kiara. <clears throat> Apparently we're in a world called Simulanka. We got here yesterday too. Simulanka? So, that's what it's called. I spent all day yesterday wandering around this one city. Uh, the toy people called it Constellation Metropole. I was trying to find a way to get back home. Right, so now we have another person. <laughs> I was seriously starting to think I'd gotten on the bad side of some great yokai and gotten solid whole. Huh. I take it you're Hinazuma then, Miss Kirara? She sure is! But, uh, Kirara here is kinda special. Introduce you for real this time. <laughs> Kirara is a Nekomanda from Inazuma. She works as a courier for Komania Express. Huh. Nice to meet you. I'm Nilu, a member of Zubair Theater. You can usually find us performing in Sumeru City's Grand Bazaar. Right now, though, I suppose I should introduce myself as the Fairy of the Forest of Blessings. Oh, you're so Nilu. I've heard a lot about you from my deliveries uh, in Sumeru. I S. even saw one of your performances back in the day. You're an amazing dancer. She has some? But, uh, okay. did you say you were a forest fairy? In here. Oh, yeah, that's <coughs> your new identity here in Simulanka. 
Oh, speaking of new identities, looks like you got a new outfit yourself, Kirara! Yeah, I know! It confused the heck out of me yesterday. I just woke up in a set of brand new clothes I'd never seen before. That must mean you have a big part to play here too! But what is she? Hmm. As a cat burglar? As a Nekomata in boots? Puss in boots. Yeah, I was thinking of that. <laughs> that makes a <laughs> lot of sense. Is... is that a thing? I guess I am wearing a pair of boots, but still. Did you by any chance hear a voice speaking to you before you got here, Miss Kirara? A voice speaking? A voice... Oh, yeah, I did we hear didn't something! Hear any voice, I, I was so freaked out, my tails got all tangled. So I, uh... <laughs> didn't catch much of what was said. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, but this uh, Nekomata friend of yours, <laughs> she doesn't hamsters, does she? Or frogs? <coughs> Why would she frogs? Oh, no need to worry, little guys. I would never do something like that. Well, unless I've been out of the too long without anything to eat. Well, speaking of eating, I am getting a little hungry. <laughs> <laughs> really? Where are your manners, everyone? This young lady is a trusted friend of our esteemed hero. So they won't eat me for as now, every time. I know a fear of felines is etched into us with ink, but I'm certain Miss Nekomata in boots here means us no harm. Think of it. She calling her Nekomata in boots. It sure looks like okay. you're keeping your distance, though, Grandpa Homie. <laughs> this is so far away. You will have nothing to fear, I promise. I met some origami animals in Constellation Metropole yesterday, and. I even made sure to retract my claws so I didn't hurt them by accident. Plus, you all look just about as tasty as the cardboard boxes I deliver. <laughs> uh, uh, not what that do you I mean? tried to eat you even if you did look tasty. Uh, promise. You all look just about as tasty as the card. That doesn't sound reassuring <laughs> for them. Excuse us, Mom. Uh, it's just an unconscious reaction. <clears throat> Dear passengers, it's almost time for us to depart. Okay, let's oh, go. Yeah, yeah, Tulips. This turned into a pretty So long I guess we will meet Davia on the third day. Right, and then wander the on the last day then. Mm-hmm. I'll ride with you to the next stop. There's a place near the Metropole that caught my eye yesterday, so I want to go explore it today. Then all that remains for me to say is <coughs> on behalf of the Forest of Blessings. Thank you. Once again. For all you've done for us. May the goddess of fates be with you and bless your journey. Madam Fairy, Miss Nekomata in boots, and our brave heroes. Please do visit us in the Forest of Blessings again. Once peace has returned to this land. We will. We'll definitely need a cat. Take care, Grandpa Almond. Alright, now we start part two. <clears throat> So we're going on the train. Connect the train carriages. You can see. It doesn't matter. Kirama. I do not have the outfit yet. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to get the outfit. So we just. Oh. Press T, okay. Oh, they're already in there. Okay. <laughs> Wait, uh, if it's connected, why not we just sit at the back? Let's go. <laughs> Talk to the conductor. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's uh, sit down. <laughs> Wait, I just realized. Hide UI. We don't even need to press the camera and all. We can just hide the UI and it's that's good enough. Okay. <laughs> uh, unhide. So yeah, that's. Uh, we can't talk to them, right? So let's go. Wait, book it. What? Um, Have a safe trip! I'll just sit down. 
What happens if we do? <laughs> There's a train coming the other way too! Oh yeah! Hey! Now that the fading disorder is cured, I'm sure the forest will be a lively place again in no time. So it's just... I gotta go explore stuff. that forest at some point. It looked so pretty from the train. I just hope they, uh, won't be too scared hmm. of me. We'll be arriving at our destination shortly. Please prepare to disembark. So I guess they call it Constellation Metropole because of the stars? Constellations? <clears throat> here we are! Constellation Metropole is right over there. It's a short walk from here to the Gear Sky Ladder, which will take you right to Metropole Square. And thank you again for choosing Maritime Express. Great! And thanks to you for a smooth and pleasant journey, Mr. Wheel. The train cars were comfortable and spacious, and I had a great <coughs> night's sleep. I'll definitely be back. Um, as you wish, ma'am. Already have two characters with outfits. <laughs> oh, a waypoint. Where should we go next? Is there a place you wanted to check out nearby? <coughs> Excuse me. Let me a soul trip. Mm hmm. I took a walk around yesterday and it felt like there was something weird about it. So, I think I'll indulge my curiosity and go investigate. You want us to come with you? It's okay, you guys go ahead Why and not? visit we the Metropole for now. Together, next Hopefully explore. that's where you'll be able to find out <clears throat> some more about this world. I Are we really much separate? explored the whole place from Already? the rooftops yesterday, but for some reason, this is the place that caught my attention. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like. When you get a stone stuck in your claw or something, it keeps nagging at you to dig it out, but you can't focus on anything else until you do. Don't worry, if you run into any trouble, I'll be there faster than you can say gold level courier of the Comania Express. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We'll head to the Metropole then. Guess this is where we say bye for now. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about me. Let's not forget, I'm a yokai. Okay. So we only met Kira for a while. Okay, she's there. <laughs> Is that a world quest? Wait. Missed it Hey! Here. Are you guys already finished with everything in the Metropole? Uh, we just got here. <laughs> no need to prioritize me. Uh, there's just this place I really want to go check out. Feel free to get back to me once you've got everything- Sort it out, okay. But we'll be right back. Sure! Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere! Alright. <clears throat> we'll be back for that. So, a uh, character world, a world quest, but it's a character. Uh, what about characters? Okay. Go to Gear Sky Ladder. So, I guess right after we finish part 2, we'll go back to Kirara and we'll see what, what's up with her. I mean, do we have to go this way? Oh, we just have to go there. Just follow the road there. <clears throat> no This is probably another puzzle thing. above would you kind souls please help us what happened what happened here why are you all suspended in midair i mean being stuck in midair still beats falling to the ground and being smashed into a pile of blocks but i told him to be careful but no never mind now's not the time for that my good friends could i trouble you to turn the clockwork key over there i'll explain everything in a bit turn the clockwork key <laughs> Uh okay. Oh, it's a time okay. Attack to reset. Oh, just Ah, okay. Wait.
you must attack it or if you are unable to connect ah oh, shit wait 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 is that alright? ah oh, still no it's not enough oh I have to use the T okay, there we go So you can reverse time, that's interesting. <coughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, what happened there? It almost seemed like we turned back time. I take it this is your first time witnessing the power of the Goddess of Prophecy, then? If so, I can see why you might think that. Basically, this is a gift bestowed upon Constellation Metropole by the Goddess of Prophecy, who rules mm. over the natural course of all things. It helps those who have deviated from the proper path to get back on track. Power. Proper path? Do you mean a Everything that's happened in the Metropole has been planned out since the very beginning? Why are you saying that as if it's a bad thing? You're not explaining it clearly. Here, allow me. <coughs> of course, all the residents of the Metropole have the freedom to live their own lives. For instance, whether I use olive oil or sesame oil in my morning skincare okay. routine is entirely my choice. But whenever something disastrous is about to happen, like when I almost got turned into a pile of rubble just now, the goddess's magic will activate in the world around us. So, in other words, it's kind of protection magic to keep people alive? You could say that. And there are other situations in which it activates too, but that's basically correct. Well, in any case, we're glad no one's hurt. Are you heading to the Constellation Metropole? Yep. Do you know where we can find the Gear Sky Ladder? Oh, it's just that platform up ahead. The one with the key sticking out. Okay. Uh, that thing? Um, are you sure? I guess you hit it and then the, the ladder will appear or something? Yep, that's the one. And pretty much everything in the Metropole runs on tracks and gears. The Goddess of Prophecy watches over it all. Which is to say, all the tracks are fixed. If a machine is set up to move forwards, it'll never move in reverse. This uh, reminds time on a lot of Fontaine's clockwork toys. You mean, like those music boxes with dancing figures? I think I've seen one or two from the merchants in Sumeru. Yeah, exactly <coughs> like that. Fall out of the sky? Hmm. Wait, what? Okay. I'll keep this close. Oh, yeah, we have these things, eh? but uh, I'm not gonna use it. Might as well uh, finish this uh, story. So, whatever I have, maybe I'll keep it for tomorrow. Go to the gear sky ladder. It's just this thing. Now what? Attack and make it move. When fully charged, it stops moving. If it's not attacked for some time, it will return. Okay. You just keep attacking. Or I think you can just attack it once. Can we go now? <coughs> no, where are we? Is this the place? Oh, what a bustling <laughs> city! This place is fit for a king! <laughs> it's really a Our next step is to get to the top of the metropole of, uh, and ask the goddess let, let of prophecy for guidance. <laughs> if there is a king in that castle, I sure hope he won't get mad at us for trespassing. Uh oh. Guess. Wait, maybe not. Oh shit. <laughs> Make way for the king! Oh, don't let me jinx it. Oh no. Um, did he overhear us talking about 
Talking about us sneaking into the castle. Maybe they know. Maybe they know it's a fairy, Fa forest fairy. You know. Silence. The one who shall soon stand before you is the ruler of Constellation Metropole. The one who descended after a meteor shower and the protector of order and all the stars in the sky. Okay. And that is. That's a long list of titles. I've been here what? <laughs> just from afar. I was expecting Navia to be on the third day. I was expecting this was to be something else, some NPC. <laughs> Navia is the. Long have I heard of your grand Wait, deeds. Navia is a cost. Oh, oh no, it's just a cow. Who restored the lifeblood of the forest? Oh hero, who? Uh, uh huh? Who is the mustache? <laughs> that was unexpected. Hold your foul tongue! How dare you utter Her Majesty's name! <laughs> nice one, partner. Spectacular improvisation skills. I'd expect no less from you. All right, all right. You can relax now. Allow me to make some introductions. This is the Traveler, and his trusty companion, Paimon. You are personal friends with Her Majesty the King? Please, She's the Her forgive Majesty. our grievous mistake. We oh. have no idea. <clears throat> Alright, the welcome ceremony now is over. Now we are King of Constitution. Everyone Metropole. back to your stations. I will personally treat our guests to some royal hospitality. Okay. Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, this I did not expect. <laughs> Oh, come on, I've already sent them off. So, anyway, how did you guys get here? We were gonna ask you the same thing! Also, how are you already king of this nation? And where did you get a crown? <laughs> oh, wait, don't say it! You just woke up like this, right? Well, that would make sense. Everyone has their own costume. Ah, uh, but we won't get Navia's costume, huh? It's just the crown and... Sounds like you've answered your own question. Mm -hmm. But before I woke up, I heard a voice say to me, You are the king of Constellation Metropole. Now go forth and save your city. So everyone has their role. Um, that sounds like... A similar thing happened to me. Oh, yeah, well, sorry. This is you must be the fairy something. of the Forest of Blessings, right? Mm -hmm. This is Nilu, a friend that we made during our time in Sumeru. Nice to meet you, Miss Nilu. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. If you ever get the chance to go to Fontaine, make sure you come and visit me. I'm based in Poisson. Seems like you're taking this all in stride. Aren't you nervous about getting stuck here and never being able to get back home? Why would I be worried about that? We've faced much bigger problems than this before, and we always pull through. This should be a piece of cake. Besides, life's always <coughs> full of surprises. It's gonna be weird to see Wanderer to in this area it. later. Like, how would he feel to be stuck in that this? That sounds like a great outlook on life. You have a very optimistic spirit. I guess that will be on day three. Thanks, I'll take that. Honestly though, it also puts me at ease to find out that you guys are the fairy and heroes that I've been hearing about in this prophecy. <laughs> We're kind of veterans at dealing with prophecies by now, hmm. aren't we? This is also a prophecy, huh? Uh, about that. Has anything bad happened in the Metropole? We heard about an evil dragon. Did it make a mess here too? It sure did. Apparently, for whatever reason, he went for the stars above the city recently. Literally just flew up and started snatching them out of the sky. Ooh. Dragon? Went for the stars. <laughs> Luckily, the guards responded Does that quickly mean anything? and stopped the dragon from taking them back to his lair. Unfortunately, though, he dropped them before he flew off. Now they're scattered all around the metropole. I've been out trying to retrieve them, but I only managed to get one of them before you showed up. Oh, one I didn't ask one you. of the stars? What brings you to the metropole anyway? Oh, Pyman can explain. Okay. And done. Huh, I see. <coughs> so, you want to consult the oracle of the goddess of prophecy. Do you know how we can do that, Miss Novia? Well, the goddess's statue is indeed at the top of the castle. I can take you up there. Alright, then. 
However, I've heard from the citizens here that the goddess hasn't given out any new revelations in a very long time. Oh, is the goddess referring to the heavenly principles? Heaven, we've been quiet for a very long time. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> really? But Grandpa Almond told us that he received his prophecy from the goddess. Oh, that's probably because the prophecy about the hero of Simulanka has been around time. for a very long time. But recently, people realized that the goddess didn't reveal anything about what's supposed to happen after peace has been restored. Huh. Okay. Still, can't hurt to try your luck. And maybe you can help me get rid of the invaders while we're at it. Invaders? So the dragon's not your only problem? Right. The forest isn't the only place where strange things have been happening to the residents. Have you come across the gift from the Goddess of Prophecy yet? You mean, the protection magic that stops them from coming to harm? We saw it in action. Oh, the time reversing thing. Yep, that's the one. Over the past little while, this magic has been triggering far more frequently. We don't know if it's simply because the Metropole has grown a lot more dangerous, or if there's a deeper reason behind it. Some residents find themselves getting stuck in a place and unable to move. Others start repeating the same thing over and over again, like they're trapped in some um. kind of loop. If we were to use clockwork toys as an analogy, could it be that the tracks have eroded? Or the gears have slid out of place? Oh, that makes sense. That's exactly right, Nilu. That's basically what's happening. Anyway, some of the monsters outside the city saw this as an <coughs> opportunity to launch an invasion. Uh, but we didn't see a single monster on our way here. We did see, like, uh, a few hidden chills and all, but it was just for a puzzle. That's because I already took care of most of them over the past oh. couple of days. Of the remaining few, we trapped some of them inside the castle and chased the rest back out Wait, of the city. We trapped some of them in the castle. What okay, monsters so are we talking to summarize, about? Here? Not only has the magic here gotten all messed up, but the dragons also knocked some of the stars out of the sky. Plus, there's a bunch of monsters in the city. <sighs> Sounds like there's a lot more to fix here than in the Forest of Blessing. Well, defeating the dragon and the monsters should be straightforward enough. But how do we fix the magic? That's probably what you can do, Nino. But that is just for the origami thing, though. Supposedly, the goddess has had it all planned out for ages. Prophecies One of her again. oldest prophecies says this. Go and push the gear that connects up to the starry sky. When that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. Imagine if Wanderer that guy is this god is a problem. That would be so weird. Huh? But weren't the tracks the gift that she gave to her people in the first place? Does that, that doesn't make sense. It's just she, back? That's what the prophecy seems to be saying, yes. So, as a result, some people are against turning the gear, despite what the prophecy says since they fear a future where they no longer enjoy the goddess's protection. But letting this drag on isn't the answer either, is it? No. And I think they know that. But they're just too afraid to take that final, okay. terrifying step. They're still hoping there might be an alternative solution. No. We could ignore their objections and go turn the gear ourselves. But... Exactly. You know me well. And that's why you're my partner. I want to get as many people on my side as possible. At the end of the day, this is their city. And they should have the right to decide its future. Ooh, spoken like a true wise king, Navia. I am the boss of Spina di Rosula, after all. This may be my first time as a king, but there are a few similarities between the two roles. Traveler, Paimon, Miss Nilu. Would you be willing to lend me your support? With your help, I'm confident we'll be able to find the most frictionless way to resolve the problems plaguing this city. <laughs> Not gonna lie, your majesty is definitely growing on me. Seriously, like we'd ever say no? We're your friends! No need to ask us so formally in the future. I'm happy to help too. This is a beautiful city. And just like the Forest of Blessings, I would love to see it return to normal as soon as possible. Ah, great. 
As the king of Constellation Metropole, I extend to you my gratitude. All right, everyone, follow me. I'll show you the way to the goddess statue at the top of the Metropole. Okay, the and stay close. You don't want to get lost in my castle. It's huge. We're following down here. All right, let's go. Where? How huge is this? Uh, okay. <coughs> Wait, what is the star thing? Is that what? a primogen? What's this? Is that a colored primogen? <laughs> Rainbow primogen? What the hell? Wait. Oh, is this a star? This okay. looks like the star I found earlier. I told the guards to place it near the goddess statue. Maybe they ran into some trouble up there. Guess we'd better hurry. Scattered star, okay. Uh, waypoint. I see the arrow. I'll use Navia since Navia's not. We're not following Navia or anything. Uh, it's a trap. Wait. That doesn't sound good. What do you mean it's a trap? The food is a trap. Yeah, this is on. Ah, okay. This one's got your name on it. One shot. Nice. So they are in the Just curious, so uh, still one. Okay. <coughs> the monsters are inside, so they are trapped in here. It's King Navia. Yes. Open the door. We'll take him out. Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh shit, okay, hold up. Alright, hold up. One shot. <laughs> Another star. Whoa! Why is this star on top of a mechanism? Three? Okay, three. Sure. This is easy. Oh, okay, their health is quite high. Yeah. Okay, I can finish this faster, but what the hell? There you go. This shield is annoying. There you go. Okay. Another chest. I'm loving this treasure hunt. Of course. Okay, let's try to hit each other. That's just the monsters. Let, let, let's turn off the. I want to see the battle without. Now, 
this is cool. Just like they just like a bit or something. the frogs. Wait, what are we supposed to do here? Oh, right. Are we supposed to... Yeah. This is just a challenge. <clears throat> <laughs> it's just an extra challenge here. Alright. <coughs> That's two commissions. Three. Oh, okay. So we're supposed to go here. I'll figure it out later. Uh, oh, this is the thing. Oh, boy. What are you guys battling the monsters? Oh, shit. Okay. Sure. Oh, 
You've seen it, Nadia. Yeah. Getting a little bit low, you hold on. The battle right now. Hold on. Why is this guy's health a lot? Shouldn't take this much. Water check! Wipe out! <coughs> Are you like high defense or something? Or is this immune to geo? Or is this high resistance to geo? Alright, let's just be wondering. Are you serious right now? First time. No, this is just a move. How much more? So we, we are, we're back here. Oh, it's just that only. Where are we supposed to go? In the house? No? We go up here? I guess so. Music stop, I don't know. Uh something's gonna happen here. Yeah? What's going on? <coughs> I can't move. What happened? Your Majesty, this conservative radical, he attacked us. He threw the star from the Astral Garden and even stole the magic thread leaking the Oracle Pillars. But just as we were about to arrest him, the goddess's magic activated. But he has and a now we can't move. move. No! Nobody touched the celestial gear! Radical conservative citizen. What's an oracle pillar? You need to use it to pray to the goddess. I'll explain later. First, let's help these guys. Find the reverse time thingy. Okay. Okay, this is what I was trying to do just now. That's the super glue. Oh, that's how you capture them. Okay. First off, we need to stop that guy. So. Ah. 
That was a super clue before this. <laughs> okay. But your majesty Even if we catch up to him now, we won't be able to change his mind much less quell the fear that many others like him are feeling All it would do is turn him further against us understood your majesty also This is the magic thread. He was holding from the Oracle pillars your majesty. What should we? Ah, please get <coughs> to the traveler over there. I believe they have some questions for the goddess. Yes, your majesty Okay. Um, so, what do we do with this exactly? See those oracle pillars over there? Just use the magic thread to connect them together in a specific pattern. And the goddess of what prophecy will answer your prayers. What do we do? Is it the primo gem thing? Oh! Sounds easy enough. Let's give it a try! Are we forming a primo gem or something? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So, T, 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 literally Primo Jam, okay. And we got the star. <coughs> it worked! Statue of the Goddess of Prophecy, okay. To which course of fate do you seek answers? My child of Simulanka. Whose voice is this? <laughs> ask how to leave, ask how to defeat the dragon, ask about the future, ask how to resolve the metropole's crisis. Hmm. No answer for all of them? Wait. The hero okay. from another world supports so leave the world has no answer <laughs> shall restore peace to this world uh -huh. Simaka's future nothing <laughs> how to resolve the crisis go and push the gear that connects up the starry sky. The same answer, yeah. When that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. Two no answers. <laughs> so, Miss Navia yeah, is the same. right. The goddess of prophecy didn't tell us anything about the future. Fair enough. Guess we'll just have to play it by ear. Then first, we have to restore the sky back to its original state by putting the stars back in their positions. But... <coughs> it looks like we haven't recovered then. all the lost stars yet. Well, at least we know what we're looking for now. We just need to keep going. That said, the Metropole is huge. Where do we even start? Oh, that's the easy part. I already compiled a list of the Lost Stars locations based on eyewitness reports from across the city. Here you go. They should all be marked. Would you mind going around and fetching them for me? <coughs> I have a few other things to take care of. How many you are there? You got it. We'll be back in no time. <coughs> oh, awesome. In that case, meet me back here once you've found them all. How many are there? Wait, one? Oh, I guess we're supposed to get three, but we only got one. Uh, we only got two. What was the other one? Uh, how are you doing? You found them all? Sure, no worries. I'll be right here. So just go. Where's the third one? <laughs> eh? I did not expect that. This was the lift, right? Okay. Okay, we're back here. That's the highest we can go. What was the point of this? Yeah, so if we wait enough, we will go back down. 
<coughs> okay, so if we just fall down, these are the doors, right? Why are they closed? And the, the, the bottom door also, ouch. Ouch. How do you open the door? Let's just teleport out, I guess. So, where's the third star? It's just a chest. Are you hiding something? Where is our third star? Yeah, I think it's this thing, probably. So we should just open this thing. But this will just shoot more. So how do we reverse it? Is there a pull hard? Oh, the top for one person. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so now two of them can pull. Oh, the star is here! Allah. Okay, <coughs> pull. Okay, we have the star. Now let's go hang them up in the sky. In the sky? Uh, how do we get up there? Oh, <laughs> I got us covered. We will, of course, be taking the Aerial Express. Aerial Express. Is that a flying train? Hey, you already Maybe. took a train that runs on water. Is a flying train really that much weirder? I mean, that's not normal. That's normal. The train on what runs on water is normal. Well, at least the Maritime Express still runs on a track. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. Don't worry about it. This train has been blessed by the goddess of prophecy. Its whole purpose is to protect the metropole sky. It took me a lot of effort to find it, you know. I don't think anyone's used it in, like, a mm, hundred years. A hundred years? Are you sure it's safe? 
Let's not forget that the Goddess of Prophecy's magic has been going haywire recently. Well, it's not like we have any other options. Unless you want to do the honors, <laughs> Paimon. Fancy flying up there on your own? <laughs> no, thank you. It's <clears throat> way too high up. Oh, wait, Milu. You've got a feel for how magic works here. Can you do your thing and sense if this train is a real deal? I can try. Hmm. Yes, I can sense traces of magic, but it's different from the kind I felt in the forest, so... I don't know. Okay, fine. Guess there's only one way to find out. As a spirit, I'll come with you. Miss Neelu, will you be joining us? I think I'll stay behind. That way, if something does okay. go wrong, you'll have someone on the ground to get you some help. That makes sense. If the train does break down, you can make us a giant origami crane to come bail us out. Or if a crane's too difficult, a finch can work. <laughs> <coughs> Interesting. Best of luck. <coughs> Hmm. A finch, huh? I think I know how to hold one of them. So, where are we going? Here. Oh, yes, the train, okay. Alright then. Great job! It looked like it all went smoothly. Yeah, and it was an absolute blast, too. You gotta ride with us next time, Miss Nilu. Huh? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, thanks for. Wait, what? Halt! What do you think you're doing? Get out of my way! Oh, great. It's one of these guys. What's going on? Your Majesty, there? Let us through! <coughs> Stay back! It's okay. Let them through. <laughs> Your Majesty, could we please ask you not to turn the gear that connects up to the sky? And why is that? As you have seen, the Goddess's gift is very important to us. It keeps us from harm and protects our very lives. Some of us... We just aren't ready to lose that protection. I see. I understand. Huh? Your Majesty, do you mean... I won't turn that gear. Not until you're ready. Ah. Uh. What? I've said before that the Metropole belongs to the people. 
and they should have the right to decide its future. <sighs> Until you're ready, we'll turn the gear. But let me ask you this. How do you plan to solve the issues we are currently facing? Well, we'll start by rescuing the people that have gotten stuck. And then, we'll find a way to figure out the true cause Just of this crisis. Just figure out, find a way. And have you made any headway on that? The true cause, I mean. Unfortunately not. Hey, you know. <coughs> I'm sorry, my <coughs> friend, but it's the, the truth. truth. Yep. You have friends and family that have been affected, don't you? That have gotten stuck? Duh. I understand your concerns. But if we let this drag on for much longer, the situation may well get worse. More and more people will be frozen by the goddess's magic. Yes, but if we turn that gear now, all the tracks in this city will disappear. I know this is a hard decision to make, but... Have you ever thought about why the goddess might have made things this way in the first uh, place? Gear in the sky thing. I wonder if it represents anything. Huh? Why do you think she might decide to take back her gift and stop revealing further prophecies about the future? Are you saying she has abandoned us? No. Quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The goddess dearly loves this world and all the people of Simulanka. And because she loves you so much, she wants you to be able to choose your own path. <sighs> Every parent hopes their child will have a happy and carefree life. But if they're overprotected, then all they'll manage to do is keep their child trapped. If a mother mm. bird lets her baby ride on her wings for too long, her child will never learn how to fly. Perhaps the goddess of prophecy has always known that one day she'll yeah, have to let go. So good with words. Children can only <coughs> become independent if they're allowed to form their own opinions, make their own decisions, and deal with the consequences on their own. Only then will they be able to continue their journey alone, even after their parents are gone. <sighs> but we've relied on the goddess's protection for so long. We don't know what it's like to go it alone. We don't know if we have what it takes. Are you kidding me? I think you've proven yourselves more than capable of that. What do you mean? You made a call in a time of crisis. And you've come all this way to talk to me. Even the guards couldn't stop you. That must have taken a lot of courage. But we only did it because we were scared. Why you set out on the journey doesn't matter. What matters is that you've proven you can choose your own path. <sighs> My friend, I fear our king is right. It is time for us to face our fears. Uh, but, uh, but we... We can't go on living like this. Living in fear. Look at what it's driven you to do. You threw away a star personally created by the goddess of prophecy herself. Threw away a star. <laughs> you once revered her more than any of us. And I think the king is right. <coughs> she hasn't abandoned us. So, why don't we put our trust in her one more time? <laughs> I don't care anymore. Do what you want. Oh, you laugh. I'm sorry about my friend. That's just how he is. Always had a terrible temper. Please accept my apology for his impudent behavior. Maybe I'm wrong. Is it just me, or has he accepted the goddess's prophecy? I think so. Not that you'll ever hear him admit it out loud. Your Majesty, please turn the gear that connects up to the sky. So, you've made up your mind? About giving up the Goddess's gift? Yes, I've made up my mind. But maybe losing the gift isn't what this is about anymore. Because we've gained something, too. You have given us courage. <laughs> well said. I am proud of your decision. Now, gather around, everyone. And join me as we this? make the night sky of this wonderful city turn once more. Let's see. Oh boy, here we go. <coughs> ah, that's the one. Okay. So what's gonna happen now? Who's 
disturbing. And the stars are moving. So this is uh, representing that the time is not clockwork. Oh. So the stars hanging in the sky, they're music notes! This entire metropole is a huge music box! That's incredible! Oh. <sighs> How do you feel? Uh, a little scared and uncertain. But for some reason, I feel a lot more at ease. It's as if some kind of huge weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Uh, figured out any next steps? To be honest, not really. But maybe I can start by having a heart-to-heart -heart with that stubborn friend of mine. I have an idea. If you don't know what to do, why don't you start by helping the people around you? You mean the people who got stuck because of the goddess's magic? I mean anyone and everyone who needs your help. By helping others, you'll eventually find your own path. Trust me, I have experience in this. What kind of experience, your majesty? Hmm... Ah, yes. We'll need a formal organization <laughs> with a catchy name before we go out and start helping people. Why don't no, we call, you're gonna call the same the thing. Di Rosula. Come on. Come up with a better name. <laughs> Spina Di Rosula. Literally making, remaking Spina Di Rosula here. <laughs> or even the Spina Di ah. Rosula Di Simulonka. Okay. Yeah, that's catchy. Wow. Big expansion for the Spina! <laughs> expansion. Moving into other worlds now! Spina di Rosula. <coughs> <laughs> I like it! It's a great name! Let's do as your majesty suggests. Coincidence? Spina is... Like, spin? Like, this thing is spinning also? Well then, how about I appoint you as the head of the Spina in Simulanka? While I'm off fighting the dragon with the other heroes, it'll be your responsibility to work with the guards and take good care of the people in the metropole. What? You're planning on fighting the dragon? But no, your majesty, you must reconsider. He's right. Your majesty, you can't. How are you two on the same side <laughs> all of a sudden? Perhaps your majesty is unaware dragon, of this. The great dragon suddenly broke out from the titanium mines one day and tore the end of the world to pieces. After that, it spat out a strange fog that surrounded a whole island. No one knows what lies spat beyond the fog. the fog. And no one knows what has become of that poor island. Before your majesty arrived, we dispatched many soldiers to fight the dragon. But none came back alive. Yikes. Sounds worse than we thought. Well, we still get our mind though. Isn't that all the more reason yeah. for us to go? There could still be guards trapped there. Waiting for someone to rescue them. King Navia is right. We cannot simply stand by and watch as the people of this world suffer. <sighs> very well. Though I have not served by your side for very long, Your Majesty. Two days is enough for me to have learned that once your mind is set, any attempts to change it are futile. <laughs> You're a pretty good judge of character. Um, he probably didn't mean that as a compliment. Since you're serious about this, <coughs> I won't try and stop you. There's only one way to reach the end of the world, and that's by taking the Maritime Express. Oh, okay. right! So there's a line going there too? Yes. It was originally built to serve the workers commuting to the Titanium Mines, but it has been abandoned since the Dragon Attack. I'll tell the conductor to wait for you at the platform by the side gate to the Metropole first thing tomorrow morning. You're embarking on an extremely dangerous adventure. Please be careful, Your Majesty and friends. Oh, thank you for your concern. While I'm gone, I leave the Metropole in your capable hands. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Just call me Boss from uh, now on. Me. That's what everyone in the Spina calls me, and it's what I'm used to. So, the plan for tomorrow is... Journey across the ocean, make it to the end of the world, and defeat the dragon. Ooh, that's an adventure and a half. Do all storybook heroes have to work this hard? At least we'll get to see some amazing scenery along the way, right? Besides, we'll have each other. It'll be a shared experience that we'll never forget. Plus, 
we're pretty well equipped for a classic heroes versus dragon story. We got Miss Neelu as our magic caster, and I... I guess I'm the melee warrior who leads the charge? Paimon can definitely see that. Anyway, <coughs> those are tomorrow's problems. Right She's now, all Paimon yeah. wants is to eat a proper meal, because worst case scenario, if Paimon ends up getting eaten by a dragon, she wants to do it on a full stomach. And something about the end of the world doesn't sound like a great place for food action. Hmm. Well, the origami animals in the forest only drink magic tonic. What do the toy people here in Constellation Metropole eat? Ooh. Vegetable oil and sawdust, I think. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. And that's the end of part two, okay. Uh. Okay, that was interesting. I uh, started to get a little sleepy. But... I guess that was interesting. So, how much kind of counter points do we have? 14. Alright then. So, yeah, I think we still have one more thing to do before we end. Let's go back to Kirara and see what she needs. <coughs> hey, Kirara, we're back. What you need? So, are you all set? Ready to start in? Yes. <coughs> Great. Let's go. What is it? I've delivered packages all over, but I've never seen a mysterious fairy tale world like this okay. before. Yeah, hide the UI. Looks like nobody has gotten around to repairing this house yet. Ugh, even I wouldn't dare to sleep in there. It might suddenly collapse in on you. Wait. Nothing to see here either. Maybe we can find someone to ask? Aha! Uh -huh. Over there! I bet we'll find some people there. Let's go take a look! Wait, what? There'd be people here. There once was a goddess who oh. ruled over fate. Now we Before get a she voice. died, she left three riddles for the kingdom she had created. What? Who said that? Long story short, on this day, a sentient feline, an outlander, and a uh, diminutive pixie arrived on the scene. <laughs> they saw a narrow path off to the side. We're hearing the voice. Okay, but which side? Yeah. If you gave ambiguous instructions like that to a Komania Express courier, they'd give you the parcel right back and tell you to write the delivery address. This is the guy that's really telling us what we're supposed to do, but despite how obvious the answer the narrator, was, the perplexed pixie and the flowing feet struggled to work year. it out. Although perhaps a small part of the blame could be attributed to my dull narration. All right, let's uh, try this again. <coughs> the path on the left-hand side seemed to give off an enticing fragrance, as if to say, uh, this is the way to wealth and glory. So Ooh, that sounds like the start of a good story. Then what? Then what? At the end of the path, the motley crew would soon spot a secret stone room. A prophecy had once foretold of a Marquis who shall one day venture inside, and thus it is named the Future Marquis Abode to Be. You like it? The Future Marquis Abode to Be? Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? That was a little bit boastful. But yeah. before you continue, I must warn you of the danger that lies ahead. For example, under no circumstances should you sit on the chair in the center. Otherwise, uh, the consequences could be... Oh, so many summers, Wait. winters, springs, and falls, El and busy. now at last a hero hither strides. This realm knows not what lies beyond its walls. Its secrets mystify the world outside. 
That's what the future Marquis about to be. No, we don't. <laughs> Namely, to remove the clockwork key from the raised platform up ahead. Can we not do that? Kebe, I just realized you said we all had to speak like bards, but every time you open up your mouth, I don't hear any rhymes. Yeah, I noticed that too. It's one standard for us and another for you. <laughs> That's not fair. With wood and earthenware strewn all around, the demon feline's fury can't be quelled, reducing them to rubble on the ground. Uh, perhaps the Outlanders are worried that something drastic will happen the moment they remove it. Read the part? Maybe that's why they're investigating the area thoroughly first. Can't fault them that. <laughs> We're actually doing something I'm different. I'm wondering if we can take advantage a different of this downtime to discuss whether we really need They're to supposed to go to the sound. key, right? Oh, if you guys don't want to put on a voice and speak in verse, be my guest. Just don't blame me for your own poetic incompetence. What if we sit down? Oh, there's gum. Okay, I understand. Wait, yeah. We said don't sit, but what if we sit? What will happen if we do? We can sit, but I don't think I want to sit there. <laughs> Should we? <laughs> We're supposed to go there, right? But what happens if we do sit? Never mind. I guess the one that we shouldn't be sitting is on that gum. Can we even? Oh my gosh, we can. It'll be a bad idea to sit, but what happens if we do? Should we do it? YOLO Stop the poem. We have a situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Traveler? Uh, are you alright? Actually we know that was glue. I was wondering if something's gonna happen. So we're stuck here. Come on, you can do it! This can't be how our story ends. Wait. <laughs> Uh, are we gonna stuck here forever? Can I give you a hand or a tail, even? You can't stand up. <laughs> okay, if we find you, you manage to stand up. Right. Okay, let's let's not do that. <laughs> the gum is gone anyway. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. Um. Boo. Nothing. Boo. <laughs> Where's the key again? Oh. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Strongest stone, firm as steel. The outlander pulls, but it does not yield. This has happened many times. I'm already doing it. But this time, the attack now over. Only one final step remains. Now it is the time to seize the key. Will it be anything if I keep attacking? Okay, I guess not. Yes! Finally! Come on, <coughs> move your butts! And your lights, assuming they sell in working order. It's showtime! No hard feelings about your lack of poetic oh, contributions? Oh, the toys. Oh, what a call! It's the three toys. That's narrating this. Albizi, Kappa, and Bomarado. <laughs> Ah, welcome, esteemed and noble outlander. Allow us to introduce us. We represent the three <coughs> great clans of this realm. 
having been selected as its authorized historical supervisor. Our purpose being to await the arrival of one such as yourselves who shall remove the clockwork key. My name is... Your cafe, he's Albizzi, and that's Oberano, right? You've done so much talking that we can already tell you apart by your voices. <laughs> Aren't we missing someone, though? The guy who led us here to begin with? Who? Who? <clears throat> The narrator. Yeah, the narrator is the his fellowship, destined to uncover the, the truth here? of the past. Allow me to quote, if I may, in the history of Constellation Metropole, a new page has begun. Him. Well, there's no fourth person, so which of you is the ventriloquist? Come on, out with it. There's no fourth person. We've never heard that voice before. But he sounds like he'd be good at reading bedtime stories to children. Whoever it is, I don't know and I don't care. Forget about him. We have far more important things to focus on. Like, where our journey goes from here. That key you hold is the pivot point about which the past and present of the Metropole revolve. However, between our three clans, there is some... Oh, disputes over the historical record. Each clan has its own version of history, detailing the clan's origins and the tale of the dragon of old. And unfortunately, we don't know which one is the truth. Dragon? You mean the one that's been acting up recently? Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no not that one. one, you adorable little pixie. When <laughs> I say dragon of old, <laughs> he means a dragon that would be really, really old if it was still with us today, but it was defeated in ancient times. The new one has nothing to do with our plan history. Uh, was that supposed to be a joke? <clears throat> uh, anyway, so you've been waiting for someone to remove the keys so you can finally explore the truth of the past? Not just explore it, but argue incessantly about it. Honestly, I don't care that much. Cafe's the one who's always bothering us about- What we need to figure out is who resolved the dragon crisis. We have to know that before we can decide which is the Supreme Clan. The moment you removed the key from where it was lodged, you became the Honorary Marquis. We humbly beseech you, Noble oh, Outlander. Sounds familiar, Honorary Knight. Noble Traveler Marquis, we ask you to help us. <clears throat> you and your... Uh, your talking puss in boots and <laughs> pale floating pixie. Puss in boots? Are you serious? It's better than demon feline, but still. I mean, puss in boots, like, that's right, puss in boots. Embrace it, my friend, embrace it. Most cats don't wear boots or speak, do they? I'm not even a cat, I'm a Nekomata. Now that you know the word, <laughs> I expect you to use it. Triggered, she's not a cat. Please allow me to lead you all to a sacred memorial site. It will be much easier to explain what needs to be done once we are there. Okay, sure. This place is sacred to my clan. It's where our brave forefathers Oops. once took up arms against the dragon of old. After a bitter battle that dragged on for many days and nights, finally, our forefathers fought the dragon into submission, and it fled. Let's <coughs> return them. Some forefathers worked the day shift, while others worked the night shift. So they say, it's just a legend. Wait a second? Did I just hear you admit that your clan's history is just a legend? A history, legend, who cares? My clan was definitely courageous, that's the point. That's the truth. And isn't the truth what we've all been arguing about non-stop for all these years? Kevin's words gave the traveler food for thought. Could it be that the truth in a fictional world is equivalent to fiction in the real world? Well, that would have to wait. Apparently, oh, Cafe was not was alone to in the pilgrimage to this sacred site. Oh, great. Unwanted company had arrived. The traveler and the talking cat, the talking cat, Nekomata, decided to teach them some manners. Alright, do we have a talk to Lara with the outfit? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, this is. This is pretty my weapon, but it's not. Plus, it's no glass. No surprise. Wait, is that not different? I don't remember the move being. Huh, a cat even got the mask. I just. 
just realized that. It's gonna be a thing. It's gonna move. Yeah, it has a must. What the hell? Okay. It was as if the spirits of my ancestors were fighting for me. Not to lie. Would be wrong. But maybe the Traveler Marquis is a lot more powerful than your ancestors. Technically, by saying that, aren't you implicitly acknowledging that my class history is, is in fact true? <coughs> your martial prowess and show of courage are a more vivid enactment of my ancestors' feats. <laughs> Travelers, we Now, let's get down to business. As we all know, time is but an illusion. Time may time flow is an illusion. line by line, page by page, or frame by frame, but usually it flows in the form of springs and gear. And that clockwork key you have in your hand can turn back time and make the past reappear. Well, actually, my view is that the illusion of time is more of a problem of consciousness. Gears power the body, while the body is the vessel of the conscious mind. But the mind cannot understand the dimension of time, so we experience instead an endless continuum of moments as the pinion of now mm. turns along the rack of ages. <coughs> I... I'm getting flashbacks to when I was delivering packages <laughs> to the Sumero Academia. A teacher once asked Albizzi, what his greatest fear was, and he replied, dragons. Bobrano was asked the same question. He replied, time, and repeated the argument we just heard. The, other guy? the teacher then turned to Cape and posed the same question. <laughs> he replied, Oberano. Okay, that, that's similar like a, uh, a similar joke I've seen before. The manuscript that tells the truth of the historical record, <coughs> the blueprint to all of creation. The work of the great mage themselves. It can be found at the beginning of the gear rack and on the very first page of it. Hey! Hyman didn't follow all that, but basically, you're just saying that we need to put the key in and turn it all the way back? Exactly. That was it. Okay. It is said that in the beginning, the goddess of creation took the goddess of fate's manuscript as a blueprint, placed it under the goddess of prophecy's starry realm, and generated the world from a few magic arrays. So in a few moments, when the great clockwork key turns the local time here back to the very beginning, Everything is back time we will restore the magic arrays back <coughs> to their original configurations. Oh, hold on, isn't stealing part of a blueprint of creation a little dangerous? Also, how are we supposed to know the original configurations of the magic arrays? Uh, uh, well, the general shapes of the configurations have been passed down over the ages. They now form the family crests of each of our clans. So you'll just need to reference my family crest and join the dots accordingly. Shape of Ella. Okay, it's literally a upside down Z. But there's a light there. Oh. All right. To address your other concern, when the house has already been built, do you really think that taking away the construction crew and blueprint will cause it to collapse? The Traveler Marquis prepares to insert the Great Clockwork Key into the nearby keyhole. Uh, yeah, I at least saw that. But. So, do we start from bottom or from below? <coughs> and how do I do this? I think I understand. But how do you call that? Oh. 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 Okay. 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 Wait. So we're starting from here. Oh. Alright. I guess we should start here. Yeah. 
Wait, T. I, I, I get it, I get it, don't worry. There you go. Is this <coughs> behold the sacred writings that record the truth of no it, that have shaped the truth of history? <laughs> Gather round and let us bear witness. Goddess manuscript. Uh lift lift and decide take on the dragon. Became inflamed or something? Okay. Sure. Oh no, I think my laptop's glitch. Well, then I can speed up a bit. <coughs> Repeat the process three times. Wait, what? Where's the, where's the volume? Suddenly disappeared. Alright then, uh, I guess I can speed up since the voice has disappeared. Hello? Oh no, the game is stuck. Hold up. <coughs> this will take a while. Okay, we're back. Actually, where? Here. Wait, that, this wasn't here. Was it? <coughs> oh, you're, you're already here. Okay. I heard a chest. What the hell? <coughs> that was right there. The great clockwork key, only a locked door. Where's your clan's pedestal? Well, let me guess, you hid it away in advance to save yourself the embarrassment of having it exposed as a fake. You done? Okay. Now, since my clan's main claim to fame is <laughs> misinformation, half truths, and fabrication. Ah, shut up, Cafe. Shut, shut up, Cafe. <laughs> Bit of David. I swear, if I wind up dead one day, the murderer was Boberon. Let those be my last words. <coughs> my clan's claim to fame is that we outwitted the dragon of old and stole its treasure. Ergo, all articles of value that we own, including the pedestal for the clockwork key, lie behind that So, next step is open the door? Almost. There's one step before that. The door is protected by a smart interrogation oh, system. We have to answer its questions, <coughs> and if we get them wrong, we will alert law enforcement. Jeez! Well, do you at least know the answers? The correction fluid of time has dyed white the pages of the Book of Wisdom. Uh, no. No, I don't Cut know the damage. answers. But worry not, I had a quick word with the constabulary in so advance. We have to try and guess it right. ignore the uh. alarm if we get the questions wrong, so answer the alarm. without fear. Okay, sure. No. Question one. Who is it? Police, open up. We're here for routine inventory check. Uh, this is the right answer, but but is it okay to say this? We're here for routine inventory check. Uh, will this be wrong if we say our, our the right answer? The great yokai, Nekomada in boots. And the trusty travel guide, Pixie. Uh, travel guide. Trusty travel guide. Question two. By which virtue did the ancients defeat the dragon? Uh, wisdom? Courage and strength? Oh, no. I'm gonna get this wrong and then we have to start over, probably. But <laughs> wisdom, courage and strength, hard work and wealth, wisdom. If this is the right answer, I swear I'll 
Correct. Okay. What? A barefaced lie. So low. I think it was supposed to be wrong, but it became correct <laughs> because this guy is saying. Question three: Which is more real, the fiction of the outside world, or the truth of this world? Both are false. The truth of this world is also false. Which is more real, the fiction of the outside world? Perhaps both are equally real. Oh. Man, this is quite trick. This is quite a trick question. Both are false. Perhaps both are equally real. Perhaps which is but they say which is more real? The truth of this world is the truth of this world real? False sky. The fiction of the outside world. They are real. The fiction of the outside world can be real. The truth of this world might be. Ah, uh, no, not again. Ah, uh, this is not the right time for the voice to disappear. Seriously. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Both are equally okay. That, that is correct then. I want to share the voice. God damn it! This is it. Okay, sure. It's literally a key. Okay. <coughs> Shape of wisdom. Uh. We can't even talk to Kirara, but... There we go, we're back. So, we start from there, okay. Wait. Hmm. Do we really need this one? This is the starting point. But how? Oh, we, maybe this is here. And then we go here. And then we go there. Yeah, so we don't need that one. But where's the other one? Is there one in here? <coughs> Unless this is the top one And then you go It doesn't make sense B There, there And then I have V then. Like This is the thing and then you go down here. Yeah, the, the, the shape doesn't make sense. <coughs> when you say, do we really need this one? I think it's this way. So we're starting from the bottom. Then go all around. But one of them is missing. go here and then here sure you have to go
<coughs> and what we know is one, two, three, four, five. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. How could it be fake? The Traveller Marquee <coughs> has a design that is practical and aesthetically pleasing in equal measure. It's not correct. One thing it is not, however, is correct. Okay. I think you should take another look at Boberano's family crest and have a look. <coughs> okay, hit the thing and start over. So yeah, it's not that one. So I guess we go this way? And then go around it. But that means we're starting from here. One, two, three, four, and five. So one, two, three, four, and five. the next one this one and then it's a straight line so it's the other one okay now I see it right. there you go that was a bit complicated not sure which way is the key what do we get? What elaborate fiction <coughs> of wisdom was able to conjure up? If anyone's listening, I would like to submit these as my last words. I surrender. I'm the one who murdered Taffy. Radian, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 Simulanka, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> I saw 9,000, 10,000, and 1,000. Unfortunate signature like again, right here. What? Oh, does this mean that my clan is the only odd one out? Given that my clan's wisdom is such a subject of ridicule in your eyes, I will now appeal to my own personal intelligence, which I believe far surpasses that of my clan at large, and make a prediction. It seems likely that the claims made by each of our clans regarding their history and virtue are all true. Oberano. How can that be? Oh, I get what's going on. What? <coughs> when I was drinking with Gujiyai, she bet me a round of dried fish that I couldn't guess which cup the umeboshi was under. Whichever one I guessed, I was always wrong, and Gujiyai would lift a different cup to reveal the umeboshi. The truth is, all three of them are there, but uh, yeah, it just carried out, and it's not even there or something. But then. I learned later from one of the shrine maidens, Miyuki, that all oh, yeah. of the cups had an umeboshi under them. <sighs> this this goes to show, I still got a long way to go before I become a great yokai. Oh, don't mind Fox Lady, that's just her way of teasing me. Actually, that reminds me. We can now open these three treasure chests. Thank you. And unlike the guessing game you mentioned, this one's not a trick. Cool. Well, once you've plundered the last of Boberano's family wealth, we can go to my clan. Alright, this three treasure chests, sure. Guess I'll take the clockwork key again then. Yoink! Alright. Did someone drop their package? <coughs> yes. Oh sh Okay, that's a problem. Let me uh increase something. This is twenty, this is Terrible. Let's see what we get here. That's all I have. We took the key already. Okay. What the hell is this? Is this something? Is that supposed to be anything? <laughs> Alright, last one, what is... Can we just... 
No. <coughs> Uh, this is gonna be a two hour long because of this side quest. What to do? to his clan's sacred site. They arrived to the site of a giant guard towering over them. Uh, Up ahead is my clan's gigantified okay. guard. Wait, but wasn't Cape's clan the one that's all about strength? Oh, the guard is one of Cape's people. Size is a coveted trait in the clan of strength. Mine is... What's empathy. empathetic about that? Our ancestors believed that, just maybe, the dragon of old didn't mean us any harm at all. So, they drank the growth serum and grew even larger than the dragon. Uh, the serum isn't what it once was, though. Nowadays, it doesn't make you grow all that much, and it actually... Despite okay. Albizzi's words of caution, somebody, no doubt, has got the ideas. Surely we could avoid a conflict with the guard, they think to themselves. If we could just try to understand one another. You could, of course, just take the path to your left and go around. Good. But yeah. some people are gluttons for punishment. It's all part of the experience, I suppose. Yeah, let's just avoid them. I don't want to waste time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we should be getting close. Why is this place so full of junk? Are you the kind of people who ne uh, will never find the orc? Never mind that. We have a more pressing issue. It seems there's a slight problem with. Uh, what is this shape? Um, that's probably a stain. Wisdom too, huh? Well, you guys have a bit of everything. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be a little... Over here! I found it! <clears throat> keep the noise down! We don't want to alert the guard! Sorry. But we are still hit this. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll go keep watch. Uh, alright then. How the hell? I think it's around like this. We just have we just have a stain, that's all. So wait, how the hell? There's only four. Unless there's a hidden one, I don't think so. There's five, so there's one missing. There's probably one hidden underneath here. Yeah there it is. Uh oh. -oh. <laughs> So we start from there. If that's the top one, wait. <clears throat> okay, it's like a five. It's like a four with a one in the center. Oh, there's one there. Oh, that makes sense now. All right. So this one is here. If this one is here, we have to go diagonally. But to the left, that means this one. And then you go the other side. This one. And then you go to the center, this one, and you go What is this? Do you go down? No, that's wrong. 
Apparently that was incorrect. But don't blame yourself, it's Albizzi's clan's fault for taking terrible care of their family crest. <coughs> but I think we were close. So here, here, here. But now what? Apparently that was incorrect. But don't blame yourself. So this is wrong actually. Clan's okay. fault for taking terrible care of their family crest. How could they let something so important get so dirty? This has to be here, right? I assume it's just like that, like that, like that, like that. Oh! Wait. I took the wrong way. Then here. Can I even do this? And then here. There we go. <coughs> Is this this is the last one? Is this the last one? Yep. Please, I'm not gonna read it. I'll just watch a video. The signature. <laughs> so it's true. Just as we suspected. Uh. 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 I get you. All true. It's like in Inazuma when there were only six, but by the time book number eighty-eight came out, nobody wanted to read it. A brief moment of joy is drowned out by a growing feeling. Anyone? Anyone? How can this trace true? Oh. That's exactly what Paima was wondering! But Bobo so Paima was worried she looked super stupid. It's not a stupid question at all, my dear little pixie. Well, the problem is, all three truths are the history of the exact same thing. Namely, the dragon and the... So I guess it's saying Tevat is true, and the world Suddenly, before... the sound of a bell rings out. <clears throat> So now we can destroy all this. It rang once! What does that mean again? Ah, yes! Highest level of emergency! Everyone! To the main entrance! Stat! Bring all the glue traps and place them outside the gates! The whole city is on the lookout and there's only one way out. It's the path right in front of you. Get the fire bomb. Get out of here. Why bring the bell anyway? Also, why is one ring the highest level of emergency? <laughs> Obviously because you have to respond fast uh -oh. when it's an emergency. It'd be a bit too late if they waited till the 99th ring. They're outside. After them. Run. Just avoid the things. I think if we do get stuck, it doesn't matter. We have an extra dialogue if we get stuck, probably. <laughs> But it's starting to get bored, so <laughs> let's just finish it. Fly along. Oh, that's handy. We <coughs> oh, made it out. Okay, but back to the truth problem. I don't know. I doubt anyone here in. Well, she is. The reason we argued as surely as we will follow the clock, we will never argue again. Is that all there is to it? That's it. Is this where the decision made at the first crossroads of destiny has led us to? Hmm. Overthinking it would be equal. It can't be any more cryptic. <laughs> You're planning something. What is this actually? I, I don't even... Whatever happens, today was a breakthrough in my journey of discovery. Uh, me too. And me. Let's leave it there for today then. I'm sure we'll find out. Alright, interesting. Oh uh, We'll take it the next day. Okay, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, for real tomorrow. I I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm done for this for the for this day. Whatever it is tomorrow, I'll actually do it tomorrow. Oh uh, not really tomorrow, the the two days where we play part three. So yeah. 18.1 Okay, so I think I'm done for now. I need to rest. I straight away play right after work. That was a bad idea. <laughs> now it's starting to get sleepy. Alright, so that's it for part 2. And a bonus Kirara quest. I guess just telling a hint of what's going on. Which I still don't understand. 
how much to the costume? I think we still got a lot more to do. This one, right? Yeah, I need 125. Uh, yeah, we still got a lot more to go. And this one, just for Kira Constellation. Right, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in part 3. Okay, part 3. Uh, I'll continue this one later. We'll do this one first. Focus. supposed to go oh but we were here previously I guess here you can see right, I finished the main story first then we do the side Kirara quest <laughs> where we meet those three toys It's already 8 o'clock. Oh, come on. Okay. <coughs> time has come to slay the dragon. How are you feeling? Nervous? I was curious to see what this Wait, end of the world Where do we go? Like. Come on, let's go meet the others at the station. The station. Oh, yeah, wait. Uh, let me switch back to my traveler team for this story. Yeah, we might see Scaramouche here, probably. Let's see... Oh! Ah, I didn't open that waypoint. Okay, we're gonna take a walk there then. Uh, I wanted to go there, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> That's a different. I, I if I would have opened the waypoint, then this would this line wouldn't have appeared, right? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's oh, something here. Oh my God, this is terrible. I don't understand. The three Greek clans of Constellation Metropole have finally made peace with each other. Who could have done this? Oh, this is the Kirara one. Uh, I thought why suddenly we were interrupted. Okay. Well, what happened? Oh no. Someone's lying on the ground. So much for focus experience. Cabin. <laughs> oh well. Wake up. You need to revise your last words or everyone's last words. What did he say? It end. If I wind up dead one day, the murderer was Boborano. You could have at least pretended to not remember it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that she happened? But damn. this is an interrogation. I have to give the detective straight answers. Nah, don't worry, Boberana. I don't consider you a suspect, nor do I have the authority to charge anyone with a crime. So, are you the last people to have had contact with him? My sincere condolences. You were travel companions, right? It's a real tragedy. I'm afraid he'll be out cold for another hour. And a... huh? Yeah, I know. It's despicable. Hitting someone in the back of the head is the second worst act of cruelty there is. The first being replacing their gear oil. So, Cappy's not dead? Uh, his gears, metal frame, and shell are all still <coughs> in excellent condition. Just his uh, energy supply has been all messed up. Ah, uh, wait. But surely you can't be suggesting that just because Cappy isn't broken, there's no need to go looking for the culprit. No, no! There's a need! Huge need! Yeah, unfortunately, this is rapidly turning into a cold case. There's no evidence, and no witnesses. Uh, unless there's an official clockwork pedestal, the goddess of prophecy around here. <coughs> then suddenly, the long-lost dragon of old flew across the sky. Where? Where? The dragon of old? Uh, I didn't see anything. Uh, my mistake. It was just a cloud. God damn it. Or a bird. Something. If only we could turn time backwards and replay the crime. Uh, we can do that. Isn't that one of those, uh... Clockwork socket things right behind you. Ah, so it is. 
No wonder everyone here is suddenly struggling to move. Uh, Traveller, if you please, let's uh, recreate the crime scene. Well, since we are here, I think we'll do this first before doing the act 3, since we kind of triggered this. <laughs> Seems a lot going on. Okay. I'll walk away. This guy. Eh? This guy did something. Yeah, yeah, I saw that guy. He did something, but not sure what. And he was the nearest to see. But he's the detective. Unless. Wait, let me go back. Yeah, it was fine. The last he talked to was the yellow, yeah, yellow and blue, saying goodbye. And then the detective saw him just suddenly. He jumped one more time and then something happened. Suddenly, and he suddenly collapsed. He was faking it. Faking it? What? So case closed? Aren't you supposed to investigate a little more first? Well, we literally replayed the crime scene and saw it with our own eyes. There's no need for any evidence gathering or powers of deduction now. But besides, maybe the truth is inherently strange by nature. Like how Constellation <coughs> Metro has three histories, each of which is the truth. Three histories and each is the truth. Hmm. But didn't you say Cape was struck in the back of the head and knocked unconscious? Well, what happened to that history? For all I know, he could have bashed his head against the toilet bowl before leaving the house. Then walked here in a daze before finally passing out. As for why he might have done that, my guess is... It... With the Supreme Clan question <coughs> unanswered, and the tension in Constellation Metropole suddenly wiped away, he was looking to create a new source of comfort. Only then would the city feel alive. Uh, do we really think he's capable of that, though? Sounds like a pretty complicated conspiracy for the average Simi Lanka resident. Traveler, something about the crime scene yeah, isn't right. right with me. It just seems unnatural. Also, anything outside of the immediate area won't have appeared in the replay. Is it possible that something was missing from the scene? Well, why don't we search the area? Why? What are you doing? Oh, we're... Uh, we're gonna <laughs> head to really? Cape's okay. house to check the toilet bowl for signs of an impact. <coughs> okay, I guess we're doing this first since we already triggered this. Why are we going here? There's supposed to be something there, but I don't see anything. Oh, wait. A pickaxe? What is it doing all the way down here? There's gotta be a story behind it. Let's take it. Hmm. Hello there. Uh, have you seen my spear? Someone was shouting about a dragon a minute ago, and oh. I instinctively threw it into the sky. Uh, you guys lost a spear. Okay, that's weird. And is There's it here? There's a spear here! It looks so mysterious. Let's take it! Huh. Wait, isn't this... Different toy? Oh yeah, different toy. Yeah, we got, uh, we found your spear, but I'm not sure if it's yours. And what's this? 
Kirara? Hey, you're, uh, you're not from these... Yep, that's right. Ah, well, I was gonna offer you a great job in the titanium mines. Uh, it doesn't sound very safe. Uh, at least not as safe as being a courier. To keep the titanium ore intact, we use specially designed pickaxes that can't cut through it. Oh, pickaxe. Even if you struck a person with it, it wouldn't so much as leave a scratch. Oh. And in terms Speaking of labor of intensity, the work has been rated as class 2 physical labor by a reputable organization. Even cats can do it. I'm not. A... <laughs> Never mind. I give up. Welcome to Paimon's world. Mind you, I don't know what happened today, but somehow a pickaxe has gone missing. Maybe one of the giant guards broke it down, so someone took it to perform a rapid resuscitation procedure. This sounds pretty brutal for a first aid technique. <coughs> Still, a missing pickaxe. Oh, we did find a pickaxe. Is it just me, Traveler, or does it seem kind of suspicious? Why is it everything mixed up here? Hold on, let me take my medicine. Okay. Hmm. Grocery store? What's this? Come here. Whatever it is you were looking to buy. Please do come back tomorrow. Come here. It's just but please I come have back to close tomorrow. early today. A bottle of growth serum has gone missing. If someone's stolen it with the intention of harming others, growth serum. the consequences could be disaster. There's a whole investigation into it, so I gotta oh. close the shop while I do an inventory count. If it turns out I'm wrong and I miscounted. I could be charged with filing a false report and disturbing the peace. Okay. A missing bottle of There's oh. a strange potion bottle here. We found it. Looks so weird. Let's take it. Oh, well, we found it. We found all the missing bottle, pickaxe, and uh, spear. We found them all, but what does it have to do with whatever we're supposed to be doing? Well, let's say one of these was the weapon used in the assault. Which one do you think it is? If it's any weapon, we, we, we will be nearby. If it's the growth serum, he would grow. So not the growth serum. The spear, the pickaxe. I think something about the pickaxe uh, can do something. The spear, I don't think so. The pickaxe? If it was the pickaxe! Cabe sure is lucky yeah. it's not still lodged in his head. Actually, you're wrong there, Paimon. The format of the mine was just saying <coughs> not to the damage. is designed not to damage titanium, so it couldn't cause any superficial damage to residents here. But you could probably knock someone out if you hit them hard enough, and it wouldn't leave, leave a, a scratch. scratch. Let's take this back to the crime scene and replay it one more time. Oh, now you're back. That was a toilet at Cappy's house. <laughs> toilet? What about it? Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, forget that. <laughs> toilet? What about it? What's this about? What are you trying to say? We thought the way Cappy fell looked odd, so we searched the area for suspicious items and found this. It could have been deliberately placed out of range of the crime scene so it wouldn't show up when we replayed it. Now we've retrieved it, we were gonna replay it again. You don't mind, do you? Oh, uh... No, I don't just uh, turn off the clockwork switch in my kitchen. Yeah, I suspected no, the detective. Just, uh, I did suspect the detective, so it was him. He just threw off through the pickaxe somewhere else, so it wasn't in range. Oh no, you stay right there! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're not getting out of this one. We should be good now. Oh well, well. Who's holding the pickaxe? Why are you holding the pickaxe? That makes so much sense. My first guess was him, but I'm thinking like, why that doesn't make sense that it could be him? I didn't think it was an item. No one was looking, huh? And he just... Wow. 
So he threw there, but it bounced him. I wonder what's inside this package. He threw it there. No, no, no picking up my customer. So what do you do? Let's see. The pickaxe is still there. <laughs> so, <coughs> it was you! Why try to... <laughs> ah, I will congratulate you for cracking the case, but since I did such an abysmal job of covering my tracks, didn't exactly have your work cut out for you. So, all I can say is... Catch me if you can! Really? Wait, I'm using. I'm actually using her. Let's go. We have a runner. That's it. Let me at him. Let's go. The Marquis of Carabas dispatched the Necromancer and Boots who ran off in pursuit of the poor little minion. Where did he go? Ah. Uh... G. The minion's poor little lower back was protesting painfully against the intense physical activity. He decided to take the elevator, giving him a moment to catch his breath. I like this. You're using a you're actually using Kirara's skill. Really? His lower back asked him, but the minion had no other choice. Gotcha. He resolved to make God the jump it. down. This is all narration. By this point the Necromancer in boots was gasping oh. for air. Oh, the minion was huffing and puffing even more loudly. But uh, we'll ignore that. Not. Don't underestimate the gold level courier of the Kumania Express. A characteristically catty response from the next Tell me, what do you hope to gain from bullying me? I get to let up some steam. <laughs> <laughs> Don't piss off the cat. Oh <laughs> shit! You fell into my trap. <clears throat> oh, and uh, by the way, remember the uh, glue you got stuck on? I didn't the expect the gum thing. Marquis about to be. Well, that was also me. I did it using my powers. I got out. Rats! Oh, I'm so jealous of you guys right now. You can just jump out of your shoes and keep running, but I... Wait. The unnamed minion made a last-ditch escape attempt. He began his long crawl, long, long Are you crying, serious? Climb. Up the wall. The, 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 the tall wall. Ah. He began his long climb up the tall wall. Do you call that a tall wall? In urgent Neko parcel mode, I'll scale it in. There you go. <sighs> ah, beat. I surrender. <laughs> really? Yes. That was a chase. You've got nowhere left to run. All right. I confess. That was fast. Getting caught by you here was a backup plan. I don't know if what I've done will make things better or not. Time to come clean. <sighs> I am the narrator. Oh. The one who's been guiding you all this time. Well, thinking because this is narrating. Someone's narrating this story, so I didn't think he was the. Uh, I didn't say I figured, but it, wa my, it wasn't mind blowing though. So I say figured. <laughs> okay, I guess my voice acting skills have some room for improvement. Anyway, I only did what I did because. because the beans. I poured my heart and soul into all this. I was worried you wouldn't ask. The truth is, I was one of the first conscious beings ever made by the goddess of creation. And I've known for a long time that this whole world is just a fairy tale written by the goddess of fate. I know they say okay. that fairy tales are just made up for kids to read, but I refuse to believe that the fairy tales are just fictional stories and nothing more. The reason why Constellation Metropole has three origin stories is that the goddess of fate wrote three drafts and couldn't decide which one she liked best. Then her cat trod all over them and they all got crumpled <laughs> really? together. So the three worlds just sort of folded into one. The goddess of fate was torn between them anyway, since she couldn't decide which ending was best for the dragon or the kids. So when she saw what the cat had done, she simply decided to go with all three. What a thought. Well, what does any of this have to do with what you did? You're not a fictional character, so you couldn't hope to understand my sorrow. Honestly, I don't think there's anyone in all of Simulanka who would understand. 
Every day that I experience, everyone every is interaction I have with another person, fiction. is it really all just a work of fiction? The only mm. reason the three great clans wanted to find out the truth was for the pointless task of electing the Supreme Clan. I thought that once they'd learned the truth, it might make them curious enough to investigate further. But as it turned out, they just accepted it and carried on living the same old lives. I have to motivate them to keep looking for answers now that they think they've learned the truth. <coughs> I have to make them uncomfortable with the superficial explanation that they took at face value. And I have to figure out, once and for all, while you real people from the outside world are still here, are we real? Aww. That's my full confession. Time for you to take me back. I'm guessing I'll probably be forced to make a public apology. Then sentenced to half a day I mean, in solitary like, confinement. Doesn't really matter. I definitely deserve half a day. Oh, also, pass this message on to Cafe Boberano and Albizzi if you could. The Great Clockwork Key what was originally put in place jointly by the ancestors of the three clans. If the three of them had any ability to cooperate whatsoever, they'd have been able to remove it by themselves. Over all these years, not once have they ever tried removing it together. Oh, my poor oh. child. There's one thing you've been mistaken about this whole time. Who's that? That sounded like maybe you, the goddess of fate, or goddess of whoever. Ah! Whose voice is that? The detective? <laughs> Was that no. you? Your voice acting's actually pretty good. Is this someone we know? The reason fairy tales are suitable for children is that they help them to understand the world. Is this a hex and a COVID or something? Fairy tales may be works of fiction, but Fairy at their tales. heart lies an internal logic that is undoubtedly real-world truth in a condensed form. Fairy tales. Perhaps they simplify you. good and evil. And perhaps they hide the darkness in metaphors. But let there be no doubt. The world within fairy tales is as real as can be. And by extension, you and your compatriots are also real. Goddess! Is it really you? The line that separates Footnote. footnotes from narrative can never be crossed. <laughs> the narrator and this the footnote. This is why you have never heard my voice before. But now you wish to break free from the story, and there's a cat nearby, so you can hear <laughs> my echo. There's a cat nearby. Oh man. Echo Lotta. <laughs> Just your echo. Oh, poor detective. So. We are a part of the real world too. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Weirdest photo experience of my life. That's a weird one, then. Yeah. Sure. <sighs> my head's spinning. Albeats, you just gave me a quick rundown of the situation. So you caught the detective? Sort of. We chased him until he surrendered. Oh, and he asked us to pass on a message. <coughs> Alright. Does he really think we didn't try that? Because we did. After six months in that place. Ah, that was my bad. I thought it was a stupid idea at the time, so I didn't really exert myself. I, uh... I also sort of stopped trying after three years. What are you? <laughs> Never mind. I'm partly to blame as well. On the second attempt, I just hugged the key and pretended like I was pulling as hard as I could. Uh, you guys are so lazy. My granny's neighbor's pet cat has nothing on you, and it spends all day, every day, sunbathing. Uh, anyway, uh, you said you heard the voice of the goddess of fate at the end? That's amazing. There is a world beyond our own after. What would you guys say to taking a trip to the outside world sometime? Otherwise, I got bashed in the back of the head for nothing. Depends. Do either of you know how to get there? But yes, I agree we should go. And not invite the detective. 
just to annoy you. <laughs> but maybe the reason we've never worried about whether we're real or not is that, unlike him, we weren't there to witness the creation of this world. We've never had any reason to doubt that we're real. If someone ever convinced mm. me that these delightful dimwits, Cafe and Albizzi weren't real, oh, I'd be devastated. <laughs> I was trying to say that Tevet is a story, but it's real. Just like this. Oh, what? There's three chests here. Uh, what is this called? Uh, okay, I'm not gonna worry about that yet. Uh, I think we're done with that quest. Yeah, let's continue with our main quest. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to go this way. And there's so many more chests around here. I need to really find time to unlock those. Plan these roads. So many stairs. What? The <laughs> Okay, interesting. Why is the signboard? Okay. Alright, we got this waypoint. And we got another station. Carriage inspection, check. Wheel and action <coughs> inspection, check. Power inspection? <laughs> good morning, Mr. Wheel. Oh, good morning, heroes of Simulanka! Hey, our old friend Wheel is the driver again! <sighs> that already puts time on at ease. Are you certain you don't want us to accompany you, Your Majesty? I am. You can leave the no, driver's lane to us. us. <laughs> My partner's a pro. He does it all the time. What remarkable friends Your Majesty has. With such great heroes by your side, I'm sure you'll best the dragon with ease. We won't keep you any longer. All right, then. Look after the city for me while I'm gone. Yes, Your Majesty. Just leave it to us. I think we're all set. Time to depart. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> Next stop, the end of the world! <laughs> Next stop, the end of the world. Okay. And we're starting part three? Yep. Alright, I'm guessing this will take another hour, unless there's another <laughs> sidely side quest. Right, the, okay, uh. Just sit here, lah. Um, alright, we should tell. Alright, sit down. Oh, is that <laughs> the other side of the sea? Is that an Attack on Titan reference? So this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. Ooh, you're really easy to please, Navia. I mean, we can get out of this. But mm. um, we gotta sit down. Looks like the fog ahead is getting thicker. Yeah. <laughs> Passengers, we've arrived at the transfer oh, point. It. All change, please, all change. So we've got to switch trains, right? Huh? What's that? Oh, shit. It looks like Haley Charles okay, let's is taking over that platform. Huh? <laughs> what do we do? Just find somewhere to hide, Mr. Wheel. <coughs> we'll take care of them. Navia. Yeah. This one's got your name on it. Really? This one's got your name on it. 
just me or do they have high defense? Whoa, 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 why is my health? Uh. I, I'm gonna take out Scarabon What the hell? Hey, wait, wait, wait. There we go. <clears throat> That's all of them. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Now, let me take a look at the train. It should be fine. Hmm. The carriage is a little scratched up, but there doesn't seem to be any real damage. And the engine's still operating normally, so I think we're good to go. Wonderful. Let's keep going then. All right. Let's see, love, love, you here. And here we go again. <coughs> so where are we? Ah, okay. So this section is just uh, split off for another train. <laughs> That's it. So we're opening. We're going to the last area, I guess. Uh oh, broken. The tracks are broken. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> We're in the sky. Are we gonna control in the sky? Go forth and witness this world, my. This is the goddess of fate again. Good thing we played that first. Now we know who this voice is. Make sure to be nice to everyone. I leave it to you. Same voice. Oh, are you okay, Miss Milu? I'm fine, but I think the oh. traveler is still unconscious. What's going on here? We're lucky this guy caught us on the way down. Oh shit! What? Ah! <laughs> I wonder is here. I knew he would be here, but I didn't expect him to just. Okay, what is what is Wanderer doing here? <laughs> Passed out from a little fall, did ya? How fragile. I'll cut him some slack. The travelers had a rough few days. We should just let him nap for a bit. Uh, but my... My leg's falling asleep. <laughs> what? You couldn't have set him down on the grass over there, hat guy? <laughs> I go out of my way to save four people who fall out of the sky. Damn, you save all of us. Picking my choice of soft landing? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <clears throat> ah, he's awake! Wow. Morning, sunshine. You were having a nice little dream there, weren't you? What happened? What happened? Not gonna lie. It was kind Not of quite a choice here. You and your friends fell from the top of that waterfall, and you passed out along the way. Guess someone couldn't keep it together. Sorry to break it to you, but crashing into the ground doesn't take you to another world. That kind of thing <laughs> only happens in He's the stupid kind of light recently. novels they sell in Inazuma. Also, he kind of uh, set you down in Milu's lap, so that's where you've been napping all this time. Lucky traveler. <laughs> oh no, it's all right. I I'm just glad you're okay. You didn't hit your head, gonna did be you? Mad at that. Is the dizziness gone? <laughs> uh, someone was talking. Yes, that's true. Really? What did they say? The fog you see around here can have a hallucinatory effect. Apparently, it's the work of that dragon. Maybe you inhaled some when <coughs> you were freaking out on your I way down. I don't think it's hallucinatory. A uh, traveler, 
Nilu, do you know this hat guy person? All oh, right, Navya is Fontaine, so he doesn't hasn't met him yet. It's only Nilu, because both were Sumeru. Oh yeah, he's a student at the academia. We met during the last Inter Darshan Championship. He was representing the Bahumana Darshan. If you didn't play the Inter Darshan Championship, how different will the story be? Well then, hello there, friend. Hmm. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. It's very nice to meet you. So, should I just or maybe call you also the same guy as well? <laughs> yeah, because the name Hat Guy like was that's what everyone's calling you. <coughs> sure. Whatever. Oh, wait, Hat Guy. What's that sword around your waist? Oh. An unwelcome encumbrance, that's what. I've had it ever since I woke up here. Tried to toss it, but no matter <laughs> what I do, it always reappears. Such a pain. Anyway, if any of you want the hero sword, you can have it. So it's a hero sword, and you throw it away, it still comes back to you. Wait, it's called what? The hero sword. Meant to be wielded by the hero. I know. Me of all people, right? The irony. What? You're the hero of this world? <laughs> Will you calm down? It's just a dumb title. Oh, uh, it's just that this entire time we thought we were the heroes of the prophecy. <sighs> well, if it means that much to you, you're I'm good to actually. The title. <laughs> yeah, but well, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be the hero. That's not the point! The real question is if you're the hero, then where the heck have you been all this time? Looking for a way out. <laughs> of course, that's what everyone of us is trying to do. I heard there's a boat in this area that can bring you to another world. So I came to investigate. Hero of Similanka. But look at the state uh. of things around here. The lighthouse collapsed. The boat won't budge. <sighs> I see we try to find a different way out. Huh. I was guessing a voice told you what you were supposed to do here. That's what happened with Navia and Nilu at least. You expect me to take orders from some disembodied voice? Hey, wait, where are you going? To find the so-called source of this world's misfortune. The dragon responsible for this whole mess. That's the line, he said. Wait, we came here to fight the dragon as well. Why don't we go together? <sighs> Grab that dragon scale over there before you leave. It'll come in handy later. Scale? Where? How did you know about it? What's it for? And Have you ever considered keeping your questions to yourself? <laughs> because if you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Inter Darshan Championship. <laughs> you little dude! I thought you might have learned some manners by now, but clearly not! Uh, okay, new gameplay content unlocked, sure. This thing? Look for the objective. See, look for the dragon still. It's not here, is it? Where is the dragon still? It's not here, right? Eh? I don't think it's here. It's probably somewhere else. Alright then. Toy bombs can be interacted with to pick them up. Place bombs on titanium boxes and destroy them. Where? What bombs? Wait, is that it? Oh wait. Uh huh. I don't get it. What? I don't understand. Just placed it here? 
<laughs> okay. Is that it? Set the dragon skill. You should do it, right? Wow, this skill is amazing! It turns everything it touches into something hard, almost like a toy block! It doesn't seem to work on us, though. It turns other things to toy blocks? It spews out poison and transmutes everything it touches. Huh. No <clears throat> wonder they call it the evil dragon. Your Majesty! Man, very brave hero! <laughs> What are you looking at me for? He's obviously talking to you. Mr. Ryu, you didn't get hurt when we fell, did you? Oh, not at all. Thankfully, the young man in the hat was kind enough to lend me a hand. <laughs> there seems to be a village over here. Some of the residents used to work in the Titanium Mines, and some came to fight the dragon, then got stuck here. Okay, wait. If... If... Karamush was supposed to be the hero. Who are we supposed to be? I see. I'm glad they're <laughs> all safe and sound. I can try to use my magic to pull the boat to bring everyone back. Oh, I'll help too. Still, I think we need to take care of the dragon first. We don't want it to start causing trouble when we're trying to load people onto the ship. Apparently, the villagers often see the dragon fly into a space behind the waterfall. Uh, they think that's the location of its lair. Then we should look around and try to find a way in. I'll wait here for your triumphant return. Your Majesty, brave heroes, please be careful. Okay. Well, I guess the whole gang's here now. So, what is this map? This is more blocky than all the other places here, yeah. Everything here is blocks, like Minecraft. Broken Sea. And then we have stars here. Interesting. Wait, let me let me take a look at the whole thing. It's a picture book, right? It's kind of a book, yeah, it's kind of a book. It's like a story book. Okay, where do we begin? <laughs> Too slow. The wind rises. How do we even move around here? Quit following me. What's this? Oh, another one of these? You can put another one here? Okay. Uh, wait, are these all different? Is there a machine to gacha these? Oh, here it is. I got none. <laughs> oh well. Follow me. The guessing game from okay never mind. I'll, I'll worry about that later. Focusing on story first. Where am I going? What just happened? I clicked T. Swarm Fury. Ah. You have to climb up this thing. Uh, sure. Send me. I'll let him join for now, for a while. <laughs> Not sure what he wants. Can I still progress the story or no? No, I can't. Alright. This will pause for a while. <coughs> okay, we're back. Uh, that, I just found some information that this part is going to be two hours long. <laughs> oh, no. I was expecting another hour. Two hours, huh? Anyway, we are here. What am I supposed to, where am I supposed to go now? 
Okay. Good thing I have a wanderer head guy. Okay. What now? Well, we made it! But with the force of this waterfall, there's no way we're getting through! Quick! Take out the dragon scale. Are we gonna uh, turn the water to blocks or something? Wait, wait! No. Paimon mm. doesn't need to ask you anything! Um, the dragon scale can turn anything it touches into toy blocks, so. <gasps> yeah. You want to use it to block off the water! See? Paimon can figure things out all on her own! <laughs> okay, good. We don't need to explain everything. Thanks. How will this turn out? Oh wow. <laughs> okay, the water became blocks. But it doesn't hurt us. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Up. What? Uh, where do I put this? Oh, I see. Do I have to stay here? I don't understand how to... You have to press... You have to left click when you... You have to left click while you are... How the... Wait... You have to be not climbing, you have to be walking. Who placed this thing up here? Okay, there we go. That was not a good placement. Or was there another easier way actually? That was a little bit annoying. <laughs> so. uh, if you find toy matches that are reaching missing match hits. Use red toy box to replace them. Okay. <coughs> okay, now what? Too I did small. that, but what's that for? Am I supposed to hit it or something? I know it's gonna be turned to fire, but how do we do that? Alright, my counterpoints are up again. Uh, yeah, how do I? You see the help again? Not this. <laughs> Toy matches. Use pyro. Oh. Fire is gone. Are you alright? About the dragon? Okay. <coughs> How do you open this? 
What's wrong, Milo? Oh, nothing. It's just... I sensed a very powerful magical signature just now. Huh. Guess this is the dragon's lair after all. Huh? When did you put your hat on? Well, we're getting ready to fight, aren't we? <laughs> I feel more comfortable in my regular outfit. Hat guy also put away that sword around his waist. Oh, I should have never had the useless thing to begin with. Do, do you need to do anything to prepare, Traveler? I'm once getting kind of nervous yeah, seeing everyone else fight. serious like this. Do we need to change team? I don't think it's a tough fight. Nah, I think it, I think we're good. Unless we're getting a trial character. Everyone's a trial character. Let's go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Everyone's a trial character, so it doesn't matter. Everyone's a C3 with their outfit. Well, Nido's outfit. And Wanderer's boosted. Yeah. Same. But everyone's no blessed though. Ayo, why not? <laughs> Come on. You're giving everyone trial, that's good, but why everyone no blessed? In the in the Chlorine story quest they give the right set. Okay, <clears throat> I want to use Nilo because I do not have her yet. Oh, looks like we're not the first ones to make it in here. How can you tell? Oh. Wait, hold on. Let's fight the dragon together. They're already gone. Let's try to catch up. Are you sure okay. they're in our side? Where'd they go? Uh, reckless oh, they idiots. died. They they went and charged in and died. Okay. Oh, careful. Are you serious? <coughs> I just wanted to see if there's anything up there. <laughs> Alright, no point, let's just keep going. I was gonna see if there's a chest or something over there. Hmm, blocks. The cubes are... I was thinking, what is similar to these blocks? The cubes, right? This guy is mining. We have Navia. <coughs> They're actually using our uh, character's abilities to. What can Wanderer do? I guess. Uh, Wind Current? Nilo? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh. Anything I forgot? Let's see. I don't think so. <clears throat> They're doing this right. They're giving us trial characters. <clears throat> Not just one trial character for a story quest. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit, okay. Behold. Is there a bomb thing in here? Oh yes, thank you. Alright. Uh, I don't see 
see anything here is blocked. I don't think we can even destroy that. Um, that doesn't look safe. Oh, I thought some poison thingy or something. It's not. <laughs> I guess we fly there. <coughs> huh. And this space is completely empty. It's better it's probably a boss battle here. I know that this is where the dragon sleeps. Yeah, I bet this is the boss area. The boss battle area. And Watch out in front. It's coming. That's the dragon. Okay. <laughs> Toy dragon. Sri Lanka's evil dragon. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. How do we fight this? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow, ow, ow. Hold up. We can't even damage it. We just have to avoid. Can we destroy the thing? We can't destroy the thingies! Okay. Ah! We're just dodging. How do we how do we attack it? <laughs> Feel weaknesses as you fall back into the. Okay. Look, he's here. Ah, oh, another new soul has joined this world. But are you sure his fate will be as you described? Is this Mage N with the other uh? Hexazical. This was the goddess of fate thingy. So it's N, the goddess of. Of course. My predictions are yeah. never. Wrong. I think this is N, and this is the goddess of fate, which might be. A Hexazical witch. I just don't like that kind of story. Maybe. I, mean, I might be wrong. Do as you said. And let him find his own story within your fairy tale. <laughs> You're right. Then listen closely, my child. Your name is. Her name is. Wait, I know this place, but who are we right now? Are we this dragon or something? Oh yeah, we are the dragon. Okay. So this is the dragon story. Are we above constant? Yeah, we are. It's it's the dragon, the dragon that destroyed the titanium mines. Help! Help! Soldiers, pick up your weapons. Destroy that monster! The dragon just appeared here, and we, and the dragon just ran away. Okay, the dragon's not the bad guy here. He's just suddenly appeared in the world. <laughs> How many times am I going to have to save you? Thanks, hat guy. Thank you, hat guy. Yeah. Uh, I must still feel dizzy. Um, 
Hey, did any of you also see something strange? The it dragon? It like we were witnessing... Everyone saw it? The dragon's memories. Sounds like we all saw the same thing just now. Well, we definitely saw a different side to the story. Watching it all unfold, Paimon couldn't help but feel bad for the dragon. So... This world might be a lot more complicated than we thought. There's a, there's different sides to the story. I, the I next said, time we encounter the dragon, how about also? we try talking to him instead of fighting? That sounds like a good plan. But maybe we should figure out where we ended up first. Hmm. Where are we? If the world above is a fairy tale realm, then maybe we've fallen into the next page of the book. Uh, just keep walking and don't fall behind. Are we in the abyss? <laughs> you can see if it's Tevat. This is still kinda like. Hmm. Where are we? Wow, this place looks a lot different from the dragon lair. Is this the other side of the. Of this world? <laughs> um, Wanderer? Swan Fury! That's why we have him for this. <laughs> I'm actually using everyone properly. It's the hero. Um Okay. If you're ever in trouble, try this. Okay. Are we just gonna fly there or wait? Oh we taking both of them? <laughs> wait, that's not right. I don't think... I don't think that's the right thing. <laughs> Too slow. Is it? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can I, can I have this? I think we need this. <laughs> and Too put slow. it here. <laughs> and then this... You put it here. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Chest. Thank you. Strength potion. <laughs> the wind rises. Another chest. Oh, okay. Just me or the child of yours, we couldn't mind of you. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> right, where are we going? Uh, that way. What's this? <laughs> a heal. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a healer, so that's good. Run. The dragon? Oh yeah, it is the dragon. You shouldn't be here. He seems angry. We just want to talk to you. Don't get any closer. Too slow. 
Oh, that's a jump. Okay, I thought what was that? Swan Fury. Do we need something there? Oh, what? Um, how do we do that? We need something here. Oh wait, I see it. Uh, okay, sure. That's a generous heal there, but we don't even need that. Oh, Carl, it was destroyed by that evil dragon. The, the stars, it flew away with the Metropole stars. Oh, no, we, we didn't get eaten by the dragon. The dragon just dropped us off here. Okay. Haggai! We're getting too far away! <laughs> Oops. I, w I was even using him. <laughs> what happened? He's just up ahead. Is he trying to lure us somewhere? Well, I'd say we were the ones who backed him into a corner. But we just want to ask him a few questions about his pad. He's had year after year of people coming here to try to take his head. If you ask me, his reaction is perfectly normal. Maybe there's still something we can do to calm him down? I wouldn't count on it. Maybe his earlier attacks were just a warning. But now, he's actually getting serious. So is he really one to fight us? Prepare for a final battle. Sometimes, it takes a little force for someone to finally wake up. So we're kind of forced to fight. <laughs> just to, to talk to him. Oh. <laughs> Too slow. Oh uh, boy. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is he doing? Are we actually gonna attack? Oh, oh, I understand what's going on here. Hold up. I mean, that's kind of easy. <laughs> Ready? Oh, we can't use skill? Okay, damn it. I thought you could just use wonder skill, but no. Ah! We can't even see our health, so I don't even know how, what's our health on. Just don't worry. To throw a bomb in its mouth? Oh. Wait. Yeah, I see the line thing, but where, where do I where do we get a bomb? Oh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, 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 There you go. Watch out! If you fall, you're on your own this time. <laughs> now, if we fall, we go back uh, to the starting point. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Ah! Ow. This is interesting. 
<laughs> God damn it. No, 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 no. Huh, okay. Any more? We can't jump. I mean, we can't use the skill. Oh shit! Do we get up here? Yeah? Okay. <coughs> wait, wait, no, 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 get out of there. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Are you alright? Get up. What are we supposed to do here? Can we do something? We have to go there. How do we, we just jump there? Okay, yeah. We got health recover. Cheap, cheap. Okay, we got another health recovery. Okay. Oh no. Okay, and we're here. What now? Ah! Oh, not again. You and your blocks. Ah, shit! How amusing. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're just evading. Huh? Three, three hit dragons. Or are these? Where, 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 where? Oh, okay. Gotcha. To which one? Ah. There you go. I didn't see a clear shot. <laughs> All right, that should be it. Wonder. Wait. Hey guy. What do you mean wait? Oh. Are we inside the black mist? Wait, only wanderer? Huh. I see something up ahead. A tea. Is this Are the you two? sure you want to create this child, M? M? Even after what I told you about his fate? It is M. <sighs> it's M and he N. He will be abandoned by his creator. And eventually... I know. Oh, B, B. You've told me already. M and B. That sad story with the disappointing ending. Okay. It's what happened in the real world, isn't it? So it is. It's M and B. <laughs> That's exactly why I want to change things. In a different world, his story can have a happier ending. That child. 
His heart is so full of love. I understand, Anya. But know that if Anya. you give him that name, his fate in Simulanka is destined to parallel that, that of his real world namesake. His fate in Simulanka is destined to parallel that of his real world. So what he is in... You mean the dragon? Who is the dragon actually? But there's still a chance, right? Maybe it's a shot in the dark, but... I have to try. He deserves a better life, although he might need the help of others when the time comes. All right, my dear. The choice is yours. Since you're so persistent, let me tell you a secret. Hmm. More boring fate talk. Cut them. Oh, wait. Why only Wanderer gets to see this and not us? So this is This is the Simulanka's evil dragon. Mom. Wait. The mom is I'm sorry, my child. Unlike my friends, I don't have a long time to live. All said and done, the story of my life will be shorter than the fairy tales in this book. So I will have to leave your side, I'm afraid. It's okay. It's okay. Once I'm gone, I will become a star in Simulanka and watch over you from above. If you ever feel lonely, just if look I'm up towards the sky. Was Mitch M the Mona Master or Star? Yeah. <laughs> Simona's master's uh, child. I know there was one mage that ha had a child. No, that's my daughter, right? Go forth and witness this world, my child. Make sure to be nice to everyone. You'll meet good friends one day. I'm sure of it. That is my wish for your future. As for this world, hmm. I leave it to you. <sighs> so in the end, you were betrayed too. I see. And now what? Is that a toy? Hey, Mr. Dragon. Little hey, flying school. You must be hungry. <laughs> a friend. Quiet! We can't let anyone hear us. Everyone says you're a bad dragon. But you're always nice to me when we play together. You always help me pick flowers way up high that I can't reach. <laughs> Sound is evil, yeah. Hmm. hmm. So you're hated by people too. Star. Yeah, this is Mona's master, man. With this kind of stars, this is Mona's master. So this is Mage M's doing. So that's it. That's really your wish, to never have been born at all. That's not a fate you should wish for. 
Okay. Oh, Cassie. All right, we got to know who this dragon is. You can define who you are. Or deny the true feelings of your heart. Now remember your name. Durin. What? <laughs> this is Durin. What a In that case, then was B Rhyme Doctor? So it was Rhyme Doctor and Mona's master? Oh shit, that dragon is doing. That's a low drop. Oh shit, Kirana! Wait, wait, where did she come from? Watch out! Wait, that was Kirana. <laughs> Thank goodness. That was a close call. Are you guys all right? Wow. <laughs> Back in Constellation Metropole, I heard people saying you're going to fight the dragon, so I followed you here. Right when I managed to catch up, I saw you fall through that hole. Wait, didn't someone else fall through just now? Shouldn't we do something? He can fly. I think he can fly. Yeah, he, should, he should be alright. Oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> he well, can, he fly. can fly, so he'll probably be fine. But he saved us all. No one's gonna save him. <laughs> he called the dragon something earlier. Durin. It sounded like he said... Hey, there he is. Durin. That's his name. Yeah. So it's Durin. Wait. Oh, hat guy, you're okay. Wait, what about the dragon, Durin? I thought, I thought Ryan thought to create the Durin, no? So the mom was to B, not to M. Oh, did I get it mixed up? I'm not so sure. I need to check back. Who is who again? <clears throat> Durin. Wait, that's the name of the dragon from Dragon Spine, right? Yeah. The one that became a part of the mountain. It was created by Ryan Doctor. It was created by. So Ryan Doctor is. Am I wrong? It's not M. It's B. Or is I forgot who's B, who's M. <laughs> right. It was created by Ryan Doctor. Yeah, we know that. Hmm. Created. Created, you say? That's why I say mom. Hmm. So what exactly happened down there? You've been acting weird ever since the end of the fight. You saw Durin's pass. <sighs> okay. We didn't get to see it, only wonder I So guess. that's the truth about Simulanka's evil dragon. So who made this world uh, so we kinda know now? What we saw in the mist weren't hallucinations, but the dragon's memories. <coughs> Things said to Durin in the past. Oh I thought it was strange. The people around the Broken Sea are clearly stranded, but I never heard any stories about the dragon attacking the village. There's three different endings, uh, three different stories here, right? The people we met along the way are probably workers from the Toitania mines, or guards who came here to claim the dragon's head. Yeah. Durin probably allowed them to live here because there was nowhere else for them to go. Okay. When I first came to this world, a voice spoke to me and said, You are the hero of this world. Now go forth and save the dragon. Oh, save the dragon. That, that's not what we expected when we <laughs> heard the title of hero. Huh. Who is the person behind we this know already. anyway? And why did they bring us all here? It's one of the two mages. I forgot who, who's who. Come with me. The answer to all this can be found below. We're gonna fall down. I'm <laughs> using the traveler. No, okay. Uh, sure. Let's fall down slowly into the abyss, I guess. Is this a study? 
This looks like uh, Mona's master kind of background. <laughs> Isn't this like the stars thingy again? That's right. Yeah, look at the it stars. To the goddess of fate. The, so wait, the goddess of fate and the goddess of goddess of fate is. Uh, goddess of fate. As in one of the three, three goddesses. goddesses who created Simulanka? There are three goddesses. B and M are two of them. Is M the third one or have we heard the third who's the third one? Or more precisely M. M one of the mages of the Hexen Circle. Thank you. Hexen Circle? As in Yeah. Sorry, Paimon should just regurgitate. <laughs> yeah, that's say. right. It's Please. Just, it's a lot to take in. Thanks for being the surprised one, but things a lot of people are annoyed with that. <laughs> She created the story of Durin. <clears throat> well, the Simulanka version, at least. She created the story of Durin in Simulanka. That's, that's, isn't it the same thing in the Tevat? Durin is like the evil dragon. Or is he not? These records should cover most hmm. of what you want to know, including the identities of the other two goddesses. The other Leave two. Them for yourselves. Alright, let's read it. I mean, can you just. Oh, okay, there's a lot. Old journal. Let's see. By all rights, I should have been A, since A is the first and last letter of my name. But Alice overruled me on the basis of seniority and said I should be ah. A instead because of my middle name. <laughs> she really knows oh, how to push well, my buttons. A cool. Okay. So someone here named A. Also starts with A, ends with A. But the second name, the middle name starts with M. That's why she's called Mage M. So who is this? Starts with A, ends with A. Uh, Still, I can think of Alicia, but I don't know who. To amaze me. I still can't believe she got one of my origami frogs to start talking. Okay, that's like Nilo. Hmm. Why don't I write a story with origami <coughs> animals as the main characters? Let's see. Once upon a time, in a magical forest, there lived a group of animals made of paper. Barbie loves looking into the future, Barbie? so she used her <laughs> powers to map out the fates of all living things in Simulanka. But knowing the ending in advance takes all the fun out of the story. Wait, is Barbie Mage B? I think I'll make a bet with her. I believe that one day, the people of Simulanka will decide to carve their own destiny. Oh, apparently, she wants to build a statue of herself in the capital city. <laughs> Always looking to add some pizzazz. Okay. That's another name. Barbie is B? Yellow letter. My dear sisters, another I voice. fear my pen shall soon run dry. Pen, Even now, so... as I write this letter to you, my dexterity is all but failing me. Thank you for enjoying my stories and for creating this world for me. The time we spent together was the most wonderful youth I could have asked for. <laughs> I always feel so young when we're together. He says that even after I'm gone, He's Alice. the goddess of fate in Simulanka will continue to exist and carry on granting people's wishes it makes me glad so the goddess of fate is her well supposedly her if you ever want to chat feel free to pay a visit to the goddess statue 
Just don't wish for anything weird. <clears throat> and the book. It's Simulonka Durin. And he's looking up at something. A star. This must have been after M passed away. So M has passed away. This looks like a mine. Maybe the Toitania miners dug too deep? So deep that they dug right through to the world on the next page. Uh... Yeah. And now that you mention it, this miner's lamp looks really similar to the star on the previous page. Oh yeah, it is a star, yeah, the explosion of the mine or whatever, it's a star. So... Forest of Blessings. This book has been recording Simulanka's history all along. Look at the size of those footprints. If that's every time he lands, then no wonder people are so terrified of him. So that's why you took the stars. Because you missed your mom. Oh. Wow. That's the statue. Huh. That statue looks different from the one in the Metropole. It's a different goddess. This one is the goddess of fate. That's Durin behind. Wow. It's all right now, Durin. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Starts attacking. <laughs> you don't say that, Durin. How do you understand that? She was wrong about you, but it's nice to talk, isn't it? Now that we've all calmed down. Who thought we meet Durin in a in a summer event? Uh, but the world is uh, kind of true. So that's why you made that wish. <sighs> so stupid. Anyone with eyes can see that all you want to do is get along with everyone. You just want to make friends. People to play with. To talk to. People who accept you. Or at least, accept your apology. <laughs> now, we kind of have uh the violin uh, in one stat isn't that not weird unless you start attacking yeah then that makes sense well you've never hurt anyone heck the idea never even crossed your mind sure you scared a bunch of people half to death but that's only because they had no idea what kind of dragon you really are Never hurt anyone. Well, <laughs> what happened just now was just a scare off. Okay. Yeah. If you had a heart to heart with them, I'm sure they'd come to understand you and see your point of view. Mm. Everything will turn to toy blocks. Mm, that's the skill. So I'm doomed to be the bad guy. Is this hinting something on Tevat? The curse. Huh? Milu! Oh. Is it you... your true wish to live side by side with the people of Simulanka? Can you just remove the curse? Wait. Then close your eyes. And make a wish to the goddess of fate. <coughs> we will help make your wish come true. Is Nino gonna do the dance? Just trust me. Ho <laughs> ho. 
I, Neelu, the Forest Fairy, give to you my blessing and welcome you as a dweller of the forest. May everyone accept you as one of our own. And may the Forest of Blessings be a place you can call home. I, Navia, King of Constellation Metropole, give you my blessing. I grant you citizenship to my kingdom. Oh, me too! As the, uh, Nekomana in Boots <laughs> of this world, I give you my blessing too. Well, well, during change form. Wait, what's going on? The magic of words. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> you too. I, the hero of this world, give you my blessing. Wow. I recognize you as a resident of Simulanka. May you find acceptance in this world. Also, speaking as someone who'd like to be your friend. I wish you all the best for the future. Wow. I never heard of this side of that guy. I, a traveler who has traversed many worlds, give to you my blessing. May you find friendship and goodwill, no matter where you go. Is this a hint on how we are gonna change fate? Or something. Because this is like fated to be the evil dragon, and we're changing that. Wow. Is it gonna change form? As for this world, I leave it to you. Huh? What? Why are you all staring at me? Durin's a kid. <laughs> huh? Wait, what? My, my claws. Are these my claws? A kid dragon? And my wings. Oh, my tail. <gasps> Does this mean? You became a kid dragon. <laughs> wow. You look so cute. Quite a radical transformation. Uh, not that there was anything wrong with the way he looked get before, of course. Come on. <laughs> it's just... Uh, you get what I mean. How do you feel? Are you happy with your new appearance? Does anyone have a flower with them? Or even just some water or paper from this world? Oh, you want to test if you can still change them to oh, blocks? I do actually. Here you go. They're... they're not changing! I can nice. touch things without changing them! Hey, that's great! One more flying friend for my mind! <laughs> now the residents of Simulanka won't be scared of you anymore. Oh, that's anymore. true. This, hmm. With this form, they'll be but great. what about all the Is things this a hint that on that land as well? We'll have, like, uh, dragons like these. That's simple. Just go out there <clears> and return. <throat> You could fill in the footprints you left on the ground, or help the people around the broken sea get home. Okay, and you'll come along and help me, right, that guy? <laughs> huh? Why would I do that? Uh, because you said you wanted to be my friend. <laughs> you little... Ugh. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Huh? But I thought... Come on. Don't be a... <laughs> Don't be a down. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll go with you. Really? Yes, really. Lying to you would be no fun anyway. Oh, thank you. You're the first friend to call me by my name. <laughs> Let's go back up. I'm about to suffocate <laughs> down here. Oh, it feels so good to finally see Hat Guy meet his match. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Paima just never thought we'd see the day, that's all. Alright, let's also head back up then. How do we get back up? Uh, don't be scared, Durin. We'll be right by your side. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your blessings, everyone. Oh, this is the happiest day I've had in a really long time. Oh, I can 
see this been two hours. Ta-da! Surprise, everyone! Wait! Is that who I think it is? <laughs> We've seen that lamb before. Is this Alice? <laughs> Street lamp? Alice, oh it's Alice. You mean you still don't remember me after all the times we've seen? Come on. Bye, Mom. I know that voice. It's Mom's friend. So, yeah, it's Alice. Hello there, traveler and friends. And Duran, it's good to see you. You've changed quite a lot. In fact, you look so different that perhaps I should call you Mini Duran. <laughs> <laughs> Mini Duran, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. It's nice being smaller. You must be one of the three goddesses of this world. Are you the ah. goddess of creation? So it's Alice, Barbie, and what's Mitch e M's name? <sighs> yep, that's right. But although it's the most impressive sounding of the three, to be honest, we all made an equal contribution toward the founding of this world. If you've ever read any of M's stories, you'll know just how enchanting the worlds are that she writes about. So enchanting that I just had to step inside and explore it for real. So I got B involved and with M's consent created the world of Simulanka. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're getting a little ahead of yourself! <laughs> Would you mind explaining what you're doing yeah, here? Yeah, that's In another fact, thing. No, what are we even doing here? <laughs> Don't <clears throat> worry, all will be revealed. All of After you After everything you've accomplished on your journey, you're free to ask me anything you Thank want. Thank you. Hmm. Let's start with your first question then. I'm here because I sensed a great magic power emanating from the book just now, and I couldn't resist the urge to peek inside and check it out. So did you just place this storybook everywhere in Tevet and just get some of us to get into the story? That must have been when we all gave Mini Durin our blessings, right? Yes, exactly. In the <coughs> world of fairy tales, words and emotions often carry far more power than any spell. <laughs> Literally, talk no jutsu. <laughs> it's all thanks to your magic that Mini Durin was able to take this form. Come say hi to me, little one. Oh, look at you. You're as cute as a button. So, what about us? <coughs> Was it always part of the plan that we'd come here? Oh, plan isn't the word I'd use. If you ask me, I'd say fate works in mysterious fate. ways. Mm. When Durin of Simulanka made his wish to the goddess of fate, it just so happened that in a world far away, all of you wonderful people were holding a copy of M's fairy tale at that exact moment. So we all came in at the same time, huh? No, I don't think so, because Nilo was like longer than us. And because of your noble and kind souls, you were selected by the goddess of fate to come and save this world. Now that you mention it, that's what I was doing when I was transported here. I was oh. reading a fairy tale to some children in the Fluff Sandra. Oh, you were reading a fairy tale to children. Then I guess all the children will realize that we all just disappeared into the book or something. I think I just uh, happened upon an old book and decided to use it as my pillow during a nap in a box. <laughs> so I wasn't even reading. <laughs> How did Wonder get a crazy this coincidence? Book, man? Yeah, we didn't get any role. We were also Wonder was supposed to be the hero. What role are we? Yeah, that was it. We just received a strange book and we had no idea who sent it. Then, the moment we opened it up to start reading it, we found ourselves here. You're the one who sent it to us, aren't you? It was Alice. Eh? Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yes, that does sound like me, doesn't it? So why? Hmm. Good <coughs> question. Why indeed? Maybe I thought this was such a good story. It's simply as the traveler and witness. Someone, as the traveler and witness of many worlds, how could I let such a beautiful place so pass you by? So we're just the witness as usual. Then we have no role on this. We're just the witness. 
I can sense that your blessing for Mini Durin was a very special one. With this blessing from beyond the story, mm. he might even be able to explore worlds outside of this one. To that, you mean? Oh. That's right. In fact, back when we were first creating Simulanka, M told us that she hoped the people of this world would one day be able to explore the wider world beyond. Every story has an ending, but if the story becomes reality, it should have the right to choose its own path. So you're mm. basically saying fiction mm. is real. Because mm. this is literally fiction mm. but made real. That's why. It, so you say Tevat is fiction and it's real? So, in other words, the predestined lives these people lead were always going to disappear one way or another. Wait, so even if the people here get to go to other worlds, surely there's gotta be a way we can leave too, right? <laughs> Don't you realize you've been able to leave all along? Yeah, we can. We can just teleport out. <laughs> but in lore... I don't think you can. How how do you mean you can leave? Huh? You can <coughs> either take the boat at the broken sea or touch the giant bookmark at the cliff of prophecy. All you need to do if you want to leave is focus on the place you want to go. Take the boat at the broken sea. Well, we just went to the broken sea but we didn't see the boat. Giant bookmark at the cliff. Were we yeah. supposed to know that? <laughs> no one you never knows told us. about that. <laughs> huh, didn't I? <laughs> well, given how smart and capable you are, surely it can't have posed a huge problem. Well, now for we you. know, so. Okay. As for your other friends who were summoned here, if I had to guess, I'd say the goddess of fate probably didn't tell them about it because she wanted them to get engrossed in the story. Didn't tell them. Okay. She's Em's reflection after all. It wouldn't surprise me if she shares Em's love for cliffhangers. Anyway, I think that answers your questions, yes? What do you all plan to do next? I... I'm gonna go say sorry to the people of this world. After that, I want to start protecting Simulanka, just like Mom told me to. Mm. Now we know how easy it is to get back home, I'm suddenly not in such a hurry to leave. I mean, if we leave, we can probably come back here. Oh, if we can't, yeah, we better settle everything here first before we go. Right? Same here. It's not every day that you get to come to such a magical world. I, for one, plan to explore it a little longer. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Maybe I should invite some other friends to join you too. By the way, Mini Doran, I'm Mini delighted Durin. to see you've made some new friends. I'm sure Em would be very proud of you. Now, before I depart, please let me give you a blessing as well. May your future be as rich and okay. colorful as the stories M used to tell. And she's gone. She's gone? Guess this is where the hero's journey comes to an end, huh? Ah, but it's also where a new journey begins. The adventures of many Durin and friends. Huh? An adventure for me? You bet. But for starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends in the forest. <coughs> Even though there have been some misunderstandings in the past, I'm sure they'll welcome the new you with open arms. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> oh, stop looking at me. I already said I'll come with you. <laughs> Whoa! Look over there! Uh... Wow. The stars are beautiful. Huh. I'll bet that's a gift to Mini Durin. From the three goddesses of this world. Oh, thank you, Mom. And that's the end. Okay. But I think we still have one more, right? The one more is just like a conclusion ending, I guess. If I wait two more days, there is like a kind of epilogue, I guess. Yeah, appendix, okay. So, not quite done, and then we have another uh, world quest here. So, two days from now, we'll be doing this tour to finish up. Alright, <clears throat> that's it for part 3.
to be continued for part 4 and before I end it I got 5 pulls what's my PT at? Usually I, I do a post during story I won't get but let's just try 61 plus 5 62 and nope 63 Lion's Raw 64 Nope, 65, we're already reaching soon, and one more pull, 66, oh, I can do one more later, of course, one more pull, <coughs> 67, Nope. <laughs> Why is it always high PT? Uh, Alright. Yep, that's it for part 3 to be continued on part 4. Okay guys, it's for the final part now. The afterward, I guess. <coughs> so how are they gonna end this? I guess we're gonna solve the thing and then get out of the book. <laughs> Afterward, wait two days later. Alright, I hope this won't take long because uh, I only have a limited time here to play. <coughs> Alright, so I guess we're going back to the Similanka. Ah, uh, that's a quest. Alright, wait two days later. Ah, really? <coughs> this is actually from midnight. Okay, I don't expect it to be long because this afterward thing is probably just a short few minutes thing, but there is another quest. Maybe the, the world quest, I guess. It's been a while since our last adventure. Oh, Paimon wonders how Mini Durin is getting along in Sri Lanka. Yeah, Mini Durin. Uh, back here, okay. The what's it called again? I still haven't gotten any lower. I'll try to pull later again. Alright, let's see the ending. Wait. Here's your two magic tonics. Jean and Kaya. Wait, you two are weren't supposed to be here. Are there more people in this world? And Kaya's Why, here? thank you, young lady. And might I add that you're looking quite lovely today. Jean, come on, take a seat and let's have a drink. I ordered one for you as well. <sighs> but is this really appropriate? I mean... Still worried about Clee? <laughs> Relax. Albedo's with her. Uh, She'll be fine. Is Clee and Albedo here too? Wait, how many people are here? Is the whole... Gang and Kaya and Mr. Jean! What are you two doing here? Oh, look who it is. The Traveler and Paimon. Alice you told... must be the pleasant surprise okay. that Miss Alice told us about. Greetings to you both. This is one place I didn't expect to run into you two. So Alice brought everyone else here. 
Even Klee? Oh, that's cute. The locals here have been talking non-stop about some brave heroes who saved the world. Let me guess. You two have been up to your old tricks. <laughs> well, not just us. We yes, only yeah. played a small part. Just others. You could say we were two members of the Heroes Adventure Team. Still sounds mighty impressive to me. As ever, our honorary knight is making us proud wherever they roam. Did I hear you talking about Alice and Clea? That's right. We received a letter of invitation from Miss Alice, proposing that we take Clee for a vacation in Fairyland when work dies down. Uh, <laughs> Clee goes everywhere, huh? Even every summer event, there's always Clee, but this time Clee is not in the banner. <laughs> I wasn't sure what she meant by Fairyland at first, but if my eyes are not deceiving me, Literally. she was being quite literal. We ran off excitedly as soon as we arrived. Yeah, I miss we might find them here. <laughs> I'm a little worried Albedo about her. And Klee. But Albedo insisted he would look after her while we do Are they gonna thing. meet with the other members here? We could hardly say no to such a considerate offer. So I took it that upon myself to, to bring Jean to the nearest tavern we could find. Any excuse for a drink, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are on vacation. It's only fair that we get to indulge ourselves a little. <laughs> You're right. I should make an effort to relax and unwind. It's what Miss Alice would want, after all. Oh, wait, Kaya? What exactly did you order from the bar? The house special, of course. Best way to get a taste of the local culture. Um, Isn't that just the... The ink thing? I forgot what's it called. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making that face, Paimon? Uh, nothing. Something tells me I need to tread carefully here. Uh -oh. Let's see. It's got a lovely color, but how about the Cost taste? Butter. <coughs> oh no! Don't yeah. remind me about the cough. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Look at Kaya's face. We've never seen that face from Kaya. Okay. Hmm. I think maybe I'll pass. <laughs> but it's. Such a shame to waste it. <laughs> I'm gonna share that uh, image. I should have uh, turned off the thing, isn't it? It doesn't work. All right, Paimon. The well UI. played. Well, Paimon got burned too, if it's any consolation. It's nothing personal. <laughs> Oh, by the way, we weren't the only ones who got invited here. I saw Kali earlier. Huh? She didn't see me though. Kali? She was making a beeline for yeah, that big tree. Yeah, how many people are here? I thought it was just Jean, Kaya, Klee, and Albedo. Even Kali? Are we gonna get a lot of the old people in the old uh, summer events? Because Kali went for the Sumeru summer event. A kingdom of breezes and bells, you mean? Oh, this is turning yeah, so into a huge reunion. reunion. Maybe we should go say hi to her. We're gonna All see right. Carly too. We'll give her my regards. Thank you. Enjoy your time here too. Uh, this is gonna be very interesting. Can we talk to them? Uh, yes. So the I can't believe this horse is tonic citrus. here is just riding ink. <laughs> what a weird and wonderful world. Oh, magic tonic. Miss Citrus, yeah. do you happen to serve any beverages here that don't contain magic tonic? Of course we do. What flavor would you like? Hmm. Sunsetia. Gee, you want in? <laughs> sure, I'll have the same, please. Sounds good. Two Sunsetia drinks coming right up. Huh. Okay. Sadly, D look <laughs> didn't get to follow, but I guess. Alright, uh. <laughs> look for Carly about 400 meters away. <clears throat> oh no, that's another positive thingy. <coughs> and there she is. <laughs> the structure of the tree houses here is nothing short of amazing. I have to write it down so I can tell Master Tainari all about it later. Hey, Kale! Uh, oh, you scared me. 
Traveler and Paimon? You got invited here too? Yep. Well, they sort of skipped the invitation part, but anyway, what you doing out here? Something caught your eye? <laughs> Skip oh, yeah. I'm trying to observe and summarize the structures of the trees here. And also the animals that live here. Uh, well, the residents, I guess? I still can't get over the fact that they're all someone's origami those, handiwork. Uh, ori origami... what's the name again? Uh... Padisara, was it? Once a forest ranger, always a forest ranger, <laughs> huh? Not sure you'll be able to apply much of what you learn here back home, though. With this being a magical world and everything. What? Over there, by the giant footprint. Have those houses always been there? Uh, wait, how, how have I not seen the giant footprint? But I have not gone there. <laughs> But that's Durin's uh, footprint when he was the, the evil dragon. Oh, those? The local flying squirrels told me that they were built by a small dragon and some guy wearing a hat. <gasps> Is Mini Durin here? Oh, that must have been Mini Durin and Hat Guy. Uh, and then Hat Guy. Where they went. Supposedly, after building the houses, they went to somewhere called uh, Constellation Metropole. Constellation okay. Metropole? Did I say that right? Yep, you got it. Oh, also, when the locals mentioned the dragon, did they seem at all... Uh... Did they say how they felt about him at all? Hmm... Now that you mention it, the atmosphere changed a little when they talked about him. Oh no! Uh -oh. What kind of change? They mentioned some stuff along the lines of past misunderstandings and welcoming new members. Okay... I only just got here, so I know very little about what has happened about. in the past. They seem to generally grateful for the houses, though. And said they were going to plan a welcome party. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> Sounds like the forest has begun to accept him. <coughs> it's a step in the right direction. Are you looking for that small dragon? Yeah, he's a new friend we made after we arrived here. No way. Really? <laughs> I'm getting more and more interested in your story. Uh, no, no, no. I've got to save it for next time. For now. I've got to make the most out of my time in this wonderful world! Oh, there's no rush! Just take it slow and enjoy yourself! Like Kaya! Oh, he sends his regards, by the way. Oh, Mr. Kaya is here too? Then, I've got to go say hi to oh, him! Oh, so Kali haven't even met Kaya, and... I thought, how did he know Kali was here? Well, right now he's at the <coughs> tavern, and he probably won't be leaving until he's drunk. Yeah, Not well. that he'll ever reach that point because <laughs> no. his alcohol tolerance is so high. Basically, it's Kaya. You know where to find him. <laughs> you make a good point, Paimon. Then I'll focus on exploring for now. And go catch up with him later. Right. Shall we go pay a visit to the Metropole Traveler? Maybe Mini Durin and Hatai are still there. Oh, right. By the way, something pretty interesting has been happening in Sumeru recently. In Master Shinari has been working really hard on it. So, if you have time, definitely go and check it out. Oh, sure. Is that sounds extra good. Plus? We'll found some time in our schedule. Enjoy your field trip. Of course! Okay, I guess we need to check some Meru later on. If there is anything. The origami squirrels rely on wind currents to lift their agile bodies and easily move between the trees. This has created a truly unique ecosystem. Oh no! I'm running out of pages on my notebook. <laughs> so, I've never seen this part of the... Oh yeah, it's here. Never seen this part of the area before. It wasn't even hinted about this footprint thingy. I guess if you were exploring, you will find this. Wait. Anyone there? Please help. This is a chest. Oh. Oh. A lot of uh, hidden... yeah. Oh, it's not even a chest, okay. Thank you for that. Giant shadows fall to the dragon. And they're gone, okay. <laughs> uh, Constellation Metropole, we're gonna go all the way here. Is it the top one or the bottom one? <coughs> uh, I guess it's 
the other one. Yep. Is that Mona? Okay, Mona, is it your master? Is Mona's master the... I forgot already which is which now. Again. What? Are my eyes deceiving me? There is no way. I can't believe it. The old hag is here. Hey, Mona! We heard you muttering from a long way away. What's up? Oh, is your scry glass acting up again? Oh, it's you, the saviors of this world. My scry glass is fine, but I'm not sure I can say the same about my eyes. <laughs> Look! Look at this statue! Is that uh, referring to... What? Is it broken or something? Looks fine to Paimon. Ah, uh, yeah. It's your master, right? A.K.A. the Goddess of Prophecy? Okay, yeah. So Goddess of Prophecy is Mona's master. Correct, huh? I refuse to believe it. There's no way that old hag <laughs> looks anything like this. Maybe when she was younger. When she was younger? Oh, actually, now that you mention it, this does remind me of the fashion to face she wrote about in her diary. She can't hear me, can she? I swear, I just got chills down my spine. Maybe she can. Either way, it's probably a little rude to talk about her right under her statue. But how do you know it's a statue of her if you never saw her as a young woman? Hmm. I did a quick scry when I came into this world, and when I saw the star's reflections, I was at a loss for words. It looks like uh -huh. fate in Simulanka is based directly onto that. What'd I say? This Sibilanka fate is directly based on Tevet. It is referencing Tevet. It is true. Everything is referencing Tevet. So what if the dragon is actually good and but seeing bad and all this stuff? The stars are fake. Ugh. I mean, the sky is fake. <laughs> or whatever. A projection of real world fate to form an image of reality. Or in layman's terms. Uh, basically, the creator made this world inside a mirror or a lake. And this world is the reflection. This world is the reflection. That still sounds pretty impressive. The more I scribed, the more familiar everything looked. It's her work. There's no doubt about it. Even so, everything's far more complex than I'd imagined. Trying to decipher it all is giving me quite a headache. I also asked the locals about her. They call her she who has dominion over the stones and the course of fate itself. Not even a pretense of humility. Clearly, she let the role of creator goddess skip to her head. Not that I'm surprised in the least, of course. It certainly matches the tone of her diary. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. We should change the topic. This is like a breakdown of what just happened in here. It's like you wouldn't know until a theorist comes up with this. But yeah, this afterwards just breaking down. <laughs> Mona's just breaking down what's going on here. Oh, so Mona, have you seen a small dragon around by any chance? He's about the same size as Paimon, but with tiny little wings. Ah, oh, you mean the one that caused all that trouble? I haven't seen him for myself. But I heard that he came to the Metropole <coughs> not long ago to formally apologize for his actions. Uh -huh. Apparently, he brought a huge stash of Toitanium and plant oil to make amends. Most people accepted his apology, although there are some who said that they'll reserve judgment until they've seen how he acts in the future. Oh, okay. Do you know where we could find him? One moment. <laughs> Literally, yeah, I know. Yep. But this time she's not surprised. <laughs> okay. Ah! Uh, it looks like he's at the Broken Sea. There's a big group of people with him, too. So we have to go back to the end part again. Cool! Wanna come with us? We can introduce you? Hmm. I think I'll set this one out. This might be the closest I ever get to meeting the old hag in our youth, so. <laughs> I think I'll spend some time seeing what else I can glean from her grand design. Uh, you guys have fun. Anytime. We'll be off now. See you later, Mona. Alright. Let's talk again. 
Creating a whole world starscape is no easy task, old hag. I guess you do deserve the title of Trismegistus after all. <laughs> Three times better. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, I still haven't opened those waypoints. This is the only one I opened. <coughs> <coughs> And Wanderer is there, and the Dragon is there. <laughs> Osvaldo, Fischl! Does thou see what I am seeing? Tell me that my all-perceiving Alg de Verertalung deceiveth me Seriously, not. it's everyone from the previous summer events. Mona, Fischl, that's the island again. Jean, Kaya, the first one, I, but we nev I never played this first one, the first island. Kale was the Sumeru one. Wait, are we gonna meet everyone that was in the previous summer events? Your eyes see yeah, true, Very well. Then I will I extend to you both my greetings, O oh, Night Dragon from the land of the <laughs> thousand stars and his hat wearing servant. Durin. Who did you just call a servant? What main Froilein means to say is, hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. Fischl meets Wanderer. Imagine. Pleasure to meet you too. <laughs> but that guy's not my servant. He's my friend. <laughs> Now you're over explaining. Hagai, what are you doing? How do I blast? Oh, and Fischl's with you too? <laughs> oh, greetings, Outlander, blessed by the Imanakrash. How honored you are to meet your princess and beneath the stars of another sky. Clearly, a decision made by fate itself. <laughs> and that's key. Is Albedo here? There he is. Yo, the whole Greetings. other you gangs from other summer events are here. Meeting up. Hey there, Glee! Have you been having fun here? Yup! Lots and lots of fun! <laughs> There's so many cute animals! And a magic train that was really long! And a huge, huge and, and Klee's going everything. all the summer events. I've been taking Klee to see all the sights. Even though we don't it's have a key event, a very Klee enriching is experience. also here. <laughs> Alice's magic is truly outstanding. Yeah, Mom's amazing. Klee wants to build a great big house now, too. So, your mom and my mom were friends? Mm-hmm. Our moms were friends, which makes you my big brother. My mom used to read Wait. your mom's stories to me all the time. Um, they were great. Isn't it like just like Albedo and Durin? Are they both? <laughs> are they both literally like brothers? Also, big brother. Wow! Thank you, Glee. Can I go play with Glee, Hat Guy? Suit yourself. Albedo, <laughs> Albedo, can I? Go on. Uh, just don't go too far away. This is I'll come very pick up later. Yay! Come on, Mini Durin. Mini Durin. Do you want to come play with us too, Fischl? <laughs> your princess accepts your invitation. Rejoice! Though you may be concealed by fog, still you shall have the good fortune to witness the true might of the Alb de Bertalang. I just realized the second uh, summer event, Klee wasn't there, but but Klee had a banner, but it's the same place. So what main Fräulein means to say is, perhaps we can all play hide and seek together. Main Fräulein is it. Hooray! I love hide and seek. Oh, me too. <laughs> To return to our previous discussion, Mr. Hat Guy, Mr. you were telling guy. me about a prophecy. I heard B talking to M. 
All she said was, Oh, the line Since you're is so persistent, let me tell you a secret. Our child will one oh. day rise from the dead. R is Ryan Daughter. Yeah, they're all different. Ryan Daughter's child, isn't it? Literally. Uh, is she saying that yeah, Durin. Dragon Slime Durin will come back to life? The real Durin in. I won't say real, but the Durin in Tevat. I only heard it in a memory. So don't hold me to it. Oh, interesting. Understood. <clears throat> My recent observations at Dragonspine lend credence to this prophecy as well. Yeah, speaking of Dragonspine, with the Albedo event... Durin's heart has slowly but surely been growing in vitality. The process is extremely slow, again, but Jack? <laughs> the trend is clear. Uh, what should we do? To start with, plan for every potential scenario. Including, of course, the worst case scenario. <laughs> I am well aware of Durin's past, and I sincerely hope that things never escalate to that point. Still, we need to be prepared for every possibility. Durin is right here with us right now. Well, the mini Durin. If the prophecy is true, and Durin's heart will one day beat again, I'd like to hope that whatever rises from the dead is no evil dragon. If you understand what I mean. Kind of? <clears throat> but not really. And Just so, like the dragon right here. When the time comes, Mr. Hat Guy, <laughs> will you and Simulanka's <laughs> Durin be willing guy. to lend us a hand in our hour of need? Huh? What's this got to do with me? You saved the Durin of this world. I don't uh. see that as a mere coincidence. If there is any meaning to be read into the actions of the three goddesses, beyond fairy tale whimsy alone, I can only boldly speculate that the fate of this reflected world may have a reciprocal yeah. effect upon yeah, our own world. If Durin of Dragonspine will soon come back to life, we will need many Durin's help, as well as yours, given that your fates are now. There's gonna be another future event. Something's gonna happen, <sighs> and well, he will be nuisance. he will be around. To be sure. It certainly won't be easy. Albedo, Albedo! There's a flying paper ship over there! I think there. there's also Can a hint that there's another together? war might come. Is it about this Durin? Oh no. Sure. Uh, two seconds. I'll be right with two you. Two seconds. Please give my suggestion some thoughts, Mr. Hat Guy. <sighs> Hat Guy, I'm back! Huh? What were you guys talking about? <sighs> Nothing. Huh. Okay then. Let's go join the others. Everyone's going to check out the new origami ship. This is a during as a still a kid. Alright. I'll be right there. Why would I be? Do I strike you as someone who cares about other people's issues? Hmm, yeah. Quit Maybe. trying to guess what I'm thinking. Maybe. I'm leaving. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Fischl, Klee, Wanda, Aww, What a lovely little boat! Oh, is this the boat that will take us out of the book? The forest fairy helped us make it! Ah, Nilo. Maybe. I just realized there's <coughs> a lot fewer people around the Broken Sea now. Guess most of them have made their way back to the Metropole. Does this boat have a name? <coughs> I can't see one anywhere. Huh? A name? The Mini Durin boat. <laughs> I don't know. Every boat has a name. At least, all the ones I've seen before. They're usually symbolic names that represent something aspirational. Mm. Hmm. Let's go with... The Durin? The Durin. Okay. Huh? You want to name it after me? Oh, you mean to wish Mini Durin a safe voyage as he sails into a new chapter of his life beyond this world? Your princess approves. 
Let this vessel bear the name of the most esteemed dragon of the night. The Turin. <laughs> Let's call it that then. Thank you, hat guy. Also, can I ask you a favor? This is foreshadowing. If if Durin comes back to life, oh, comes back to life. Literally, might be something to do in Hatland then. Go on. Remember how Mom's friend said I should be able to leave this world? Well, I want to pay a visit to your world. Just a quick trip, can we? Huh? Oh, is is that a no? I don't think that's a great idea. If the people of Simulanka are allowed to go to Tevat, then what's the problem with taking Mini Durin there for a visit? I'm assuming I'll have to be your bodyguard while we're there. I... I can protect myself. And I'll do what you say. I won't fly off on my own, I promise. Please, can I go? It'll be up to you to stick close. If you disappear on me, don't expect me to come looking. Got it! I'll stick close! Why don't you take the Durin? Take the now Durin. you've given it a name, it'll be a maiden voyage for the boat and a brand new journey for you. Are you leaving, Mini Durin? Okay. Well, make sure you come visit me in Mondstadt so we can play together again. Clee will draw you a map to show you the way. Though our time together has been as fleeting as a ray of light in the depths of the long night. The Imanok Reich will welcome you with the grandest of music ceremonies on the occasion of our next reunion. As surely as the stars in the sky watch over us, we shall meet again. What Main Fräulein means is that you're always welcome to visit her at home as well. Cool! Oh, I have so many new friends now! I'm so happy! This is gonna be interesting to see. <sighs> Are you done yet? If you want to leave, then get over here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. The blessings you gave me are more precious than any treasure and more beautiful than any fairy tale. Are we gonna get something like a mini Durin pet or something for a teapot? Maybe that'd be cool. Next time, it will be my turn not, to make your wishes be... come true. I don't think so, though. I have a feeling it might not be. Fell Dragon's picture, but that's a weapon. What? Fell Dragon's picture book. No, that's not a weapon. I thought it was a weapon. Is that? I thought it was suddenly get get a weapon. That's not a weapon. It was a four star, so I think it's just here. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, it's here. A picture book that concerns the Fell Dragon of Simulanka. Huh. Okay. So if we write this book we can get out. Go to oh no, this is going to Constellation Metro. So this is how we travel back to Constellation Metro. Well what are we supposed to do now? I guess that's the end for that part. Okay, yeah, it is. All right. <laughs> but now we have another. Oh, it's Kali again. Ah, Kali said come back to Sumeru. So that's another extra quest, like we have here, Kirara. All right. I'll do this uh, later on. I don't think I can right now. It's almost time for me to go, and I don't think this is uh, short. <laughs> So yeah, to be continued for this one, well, th this will be combined together in one video. But yeah, I'm gonna play this on later on, okay? So yeah, to be continued for this last part, and then uh, yeah, I'll see you again. Alright guys, I'm back. Let's finish the final part here. Yeah? Uh, we're going to some actually, huh? Okay. For that, let's see where this takes us. Oh. Ah, okay. 
Okay. So last time it's just the, the train. Now we have another transportation. <coughs> oh yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh. Let's do the other quest. <coughs> Which is in Sumeru. So we're out of here. I guess we meet Kali again. I assume. And there's gonna be some more some other law maybe. Or oh, it's just I don't know. <laughs> let's let's find out. Oh, just okay. Started already. Oh, no voice. Policy to Mary City has been pretty lively. Hmm, not really. <laughs> Actually, not really, but uh, a little curious though, yeah. I guess, alright. I, I, I expected voices, but no. I guess no voices, just uh, extra detail, I guess. Not so more important, I guess. Is Faruzan, okay. I was expecting Tanari, but no voices. No voice, even with playable characters. How awful that book was. We had something about a party they want to miss out. Hmm. Tanari is still getting so fluffed up like a ball of tumbleweed. Sino climbing a tree. Getting his food. Huh? <coughs> what is it? A certain book. Okay. It's probably that book that we. No, I think it's the book that we went into. It might as well be. Oh, different. Badly written detective novels. Uh... Wait, detective novels? Offend half the crime now. Listen to you better if you keep going. Okay. Uh huh. Treasure in vault. I didn't expect to meet a playable character with no voice. Okay, you turn the book immediately. <coughs> I thought it was the book. Totally different book. Okay. Shh. 
Yeah, it sounds like a night now. Hey, yeah, yeah, all this. Um, this was not what I expected. Speaking of Sumeru, this better be voice. Uh. to broaden the horizons again. I see everything. <sighs> Every time Sumeru, I have to take Nahida to read the minds. But even that's not voiced. But there is something. Uh, okay. This is not dot dot dot. I expect we see Kabe maybe Tenari um uh, yeah maybe Tenari or Ahitam <coughs> But I guess <laughs> Faruzan Uh walking out and victory I mean, this is normal in... <laughs> Expert approved. I mean, if it's research titles, uh, it's usually like this. I won't be surprised. So many words, yep. You can learn 20 different <coughs> You got Layla, okay This is totally not what I expected in a extra quest Not close enough It's gonna be dark 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 Oh no Is she crying? Or just for that scene. Okay. Why is everyone reading novels in Sumeru? That's so suddenly. <coughs> okay, not that. He was hiding behind the ladder before. <coughs> so Kave was here too. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Back to sleeping. At least I'll get some rest. Okay, this is seriously not what I expected. Plus, it's not voice, so that it seems like this might not be important. It's outside. You know I live here. I don't know. 
Why was this not voiced? Oh, like I said, it's not important, probably. Two steps again now. This is probably coming. Yep, there you go. That was stupid. Nobody knows except for Sino, Tanari, Kali, and the two of you. We split the loop 50 50. Okay. Oh, we're meeting everyone silent. And then not a proper space bar there. <coughs> Is everyone looking for the book? Why are you looking for it? The attitude seemed off. Hiding something. Okay. It's a traveler thing. We teleport. <laughs> it isn't a treasure map. Surpassing. Okay. Printed incorrectly. Uh, huh? Slightly wrong. Uh huh. Game top of the top. the interesting thing that Carly says we should go to take a look at Sumeru some uh, hidden lines curious two names appear in the book someone draw a red circle someone draw a green circle first circle draw Macabre I'll hate them. One of them drew the first circle, then the other person left the mark too. So you think I'll hate them draw the second circle? But then... The first character whose name had been circled on the very first page turned out to be the murderer. That's a spoiler. Hmm. 
la fille Sensara a dit. Oh, you suck her to bring a false trail? Okay. How many? All of them? Three or four. Random. Who suck the other names? <laughs> Maybe the rest is okay. Why is everyone circling names? Yeah, what we're saying. Sorry, I skipped. Yes, yeah. And Candice, so is Candice the... Mm, Candice is in Sumeru city. Okay, and you circle too. Okay, so that's the thing that like everyone is just circling names, but no idea what is it. A similar name to Al Ahmad. Is it really a serious detective novel? <coughs> Where's the book now? Ah, Detective Five One again. Alright. <coughs> Head back. <laughs> Twelve o'clock. Some meal. Please, oh, we went out camp. I was expecting still something to do in the book in the area. Two copies of this book, one marked up, one hasn't. The marked one hasn't been written yet. Nahida? Yo! Why is this not voiced? If we have Nahida here as well. Where is she? She's oh. Um. <laughs> How is this all not voiced? If Nahida is even here. Found a brand new copy to read myself. The one without, okay.
I was wondering why are they circle, I guess. Look around the palace of Arkansas. We to go there? Who's there? Wanderer? Maybe? Well, I am using Nahida, but... <laughs> Book smells so good. Ah, uh, sure. But... Oh, no, 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 no. That's, uh... Palace of Akazazari means it's Dory. <coughs> we're getting we're getting everyone involved here. It's with Dory. Well, that makes sense. Ah, oh, when when Nahida's involved and it's not voiced, it feels weird. Nothing. Yeah. Sino is at us, not Dory. Dory's. Oh, no, with Do Dory as well. Okay, that, oh, that makes sense. I said I wanted to read it, then you agreed to meet me. Sino showing up was coincidence. Like, we never seen Setos talk with anyone else. And we met Dory somehow. And Dory meets Sino. And no voice here? Are you serious? Time to return yet, you have no right to force the season. Okay. A buyer settles came to the palace of Akazazari on the basis of a mysterious message to meet a seller to purchase. Sino. Um, Any of my customer? <laughs> okay, so Dory thinks these two are teaming up together for something, but no. Saw the truth revealed. The book's return date is today. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me you two are gonna. the contest no way is TCG come on you both read the contest of this book Sino already read it okay Dory also read it how many names have been circled best two best other three minutes okay it's just a question Oh, 
Okay, how many is uh, six? Okay, correct. Four, four. same. <coughs> Page sixty one. Five. Ah, uh, sino wins. The circling of the names definitely be question. Yeah. Three of the circles drawn by Tanari. You can tell who's who drawn it. Okay. <laughs> this is literally detective stuff. Huh? But what's the purpose of all this? So there's no treasure. Take the book back to the Temple of Silence. So much for a badly written story and is this a uh, the story behind the book is also kind of badly written is this ending something I mean the ending is so anticlimactic <laughs> after all the characters we meet is this hinting something or what yeah can I borrow the book Ah, for finally got the book. Something's not right. The plot is wildly imaginative. They aren't actually names of historical figures you thought they were. Every name has been circled. confused with this. I need an explanation. Plus this is not voiced when everyone here. We meet literally every character in Sumeru. Unvoiced. Even with Nakida. How is that possible? Half an hour to do this quest. Tough, eh? All right. I circled the actual murderer. Kavi didn't even know that, so he he didn't even do that to spoil or anything. Okay. Wants to buy the book? A number of books such a long name. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, what is this? Is this the the story? It's loading. Wait, 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 what is this? Oh, no, no, no. We just left the house of Dana. Okay. Guess what I got? The book. Young man's tears of regret.
The name I circled was the real killer, but he didn't even know notice that. Oh. He read it too. Okay. <coughs> Logic is a mess. Poorly written. And you left the book out in study. He was, yeah, he was the second one. Correct lah. He was the second one who circled it. It was, it was correct lah. To avoid spoilers, that's why he circled another name. I see. So now he circled three. Yeah, permanent ink. You draw the circle for fun. Uh huh. So it's kind of Kavi's fault. <laughs> but Kavi didn't even reckon, realize it. That's a no for me too. Okay, that's it. That was so random. We talked to everyone in Sumeru about a uh, book. That was so random. Like, what was the... <coughs> I'm... An odd textual mystery. Call it to see that Sumeru has been lively and what's going on. It's about a detective light novel. Hmm. But speaking of storybooks, is something real life? Like storybooks are real? I don't know, but I did not expect that. Okay, I think there's still one more, right? World Quest. Yeah, this one. But I don't think it's even voiced. I just wanna see what this is, and then I think I'll end it after this. Just to see. Because I didn't really move much in this area. Where is it even? So important, but I'm just curious. Yeah, I don't feel like reading this already. Find a way to make it stand up. No, it doesn't work. There's probably like a time thing you can re reverse time or something. Yeah, there's no way. Works. 
Right, we haven't opened the other waypoints yet. Maybe this is how we open the next waypoint. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait! That's called. That's Navia. Kirara. Wanderer. And Nino. In enemy form. Swan Fury. Search for it. They're doing this again, like the last time in the summer, the bottle land. And then they just see uh... You even want this? Okay. And uh, that's how we get there. Ah! Jump. Are you serious? It's not high enough. Uh, need to find one. Need to bury it. You even want this? So I guess we have to give all three every day. Is that it? Uh, how do we get there? Okay. The wind rises. I'm curious about this place, so why, why not this show? And I've got to see the back to Now we are. Alright, this one is just the... Uh, is there an extra to see? But I don't think uh, this is important. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll skip this. Uh, I'll just watch a video. Or maybe if I finish it. But I don't think I will include this in the video. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I was expecting some more, but... Mm, nothing much okay extra I found some more hidden easter eggs aha there they are Shiori, Navia, Chlorine and that's the way the cookie crumbled so what do you think? You two fancy taking a stroll around my kingdom? Sounds like someone's been playing a little too <laughs> much tabletop troop. Not at all. I actually haven't seen her at home in a little while. Ugh, I'm telling you, it's real! Just come with me and you'll see it for yourself. So, you were the king, huh? <laughs> Somehow, that part doesn't sound so far-fetched. Uh, I actually think you'd feel those boots real, quite easily. Mm, thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, if we're going to be traveling with a king, we'll need proper titles as well, right? I guess I can be the royal tailor. Well, everyone's paper, toys, do we need a tailor? <laughs> okay, then I'll be Her Majesty's personal bodyguard. <laughs> I'm sure those would work, but we don't have rules like that in my kingdom. Oh, yeah. And can we go buy a music box first? Huh. Why exactly? Mm, let's see. 
let's just say I've developed a new appreciation for them after my recent adventures. Just imagine it. One night, while I'm asleep, one of the small dancing figures in the music box suddenly steps off its track uh... and starts moving on its own. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be scary <laughs> for or a little concerning. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Though this may be a normal occurrence in your fairy tale world, the real world Your yeah. Majesty, I must implore you to inform me immediately <laughs> should any such incidents transpire in the real world. Because, from the perspective of a Marshose hunter, or really any normal person, that music box sounds like bad news. Exactly. Okay, that's one. I believe in. Inazuma also. Uh, here I think. If I'm not mistaken, for Kirara. <coughs> we do not have, any, have anyone from Liwei. Mostly of Mon Monstead are like Klee, G, Kaya, they all are in Simulanka now. I believe Kirara is already written back. She must be somebody. Ah, there she is. Oh, she's still wearing her outfit. <coughs> hey there! Good to see you again. You still wear your, your <laughs> pretty amazing, right? I never thought I'd be I able still to keep this, this in the real world. I really like the texture too. It feels so nice against my skin. Still, not the best thing to wear when I'm out on a delivery. <laughs> Something about running around carrying a parcel when I'm dressed like this seems to make everyone suspicious. Especially the guards, the Lilith, and so on. <laughs> Every region. They always stop me and interrogate me on the spot. <laughs> so you're like a. Uh, I wanna say Puss in Boots, but. Maybe like a Robin Hood or something. <laughs> like a thief or something. <sighs> Guess I'll just have to switch back to my old outfit when I'm on the job. Recent adventure. Oh, it was fantastic! A magical world full of things I've never seen before. Yeah. Great scenery, really friendly people. Oh, and I also took a trip back to the Forest of Blessings after we parted way. Grandpa Almond introduced me to everyone in the forest and reassured them that I wouldn't scratch anything. <laughs> I made sure to fully retract my claws while I was there. I didn't want to find out how they'd react to seeing them. <laughs> With this adventure under my belt, I can turn the tables on my grandma. It's my turn to tell her some stories. After Peace returned to Simulanka, a lot of people started saying they wanted to pay a visit to the world beyond. But they're a little worried about whether it's safe or not. Uh, people from Simulanka want to visit the world beyond, right? You see? If any of them do visit to that, I'd love to be their guide. <coughs> I could even use my delivery box to take them around. If anyone understands the joy of seeing new things, it's me. Sure thing! It's always a pleasure adventuring with you guys! I had so much fun! I wanna get this game. It's literally free. You can compare. <laughs> skin and without skin. Wait. Can I do that pose? There you go. <laughs> Hide you I left control hitch. Okay. Now I heard uh with Fontaine already, in Azuma already. Most likely we I'm pretty sure there isn't, right? Most of the characters uh well monster like I said lah Kaya uh Li it's like nobody Huh Or did I forget someone? But Sumeru we have I guess Kali is still there 
or has color written back? I, I forgot. Wanderer. I think Wanderer has written back. And what happened to the animals or oh, whatever from Simi Lanka? If they are in the real in Tevat, will they still be origami like or are they actually real animals or something? And where's Durin? <coughs> where's Mini Durin? That's another question. I don't think they are. Even now he dies. Wait, 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 wait. Hey. So annoying. <laughs> well, Nahida can't read Nahida, right? I see everything. Yeah, it doesn't work. So annoying. <laughs> well, this is interesting. The people from the academia say they haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe I needed some space after being cooped up in there for so long. Anyway, it's a school, not a prison. <laughs> so what's the problem? I never said it was a problem. I was just noticing that you seem uh, to be in quite a good mood at the moment. Got a new friend. Hmm. Who's this guy? Hey, Mini Durin is with him. But what does he look like? Uh, he is with him. Shut up. Not another word. Ah, <laughs> uh, you need a new friend. Exactly, but where is he? Uh, I told you already. Stop trying to read my mind. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It's written all over your face. Ah, <sighs> uh, okay. But yeah, where where is Mini Durin? Mini Durin is with them, with him. So they did bring uh, the Similanka people uh, outside. I believe there's one more here. I think it's Nilo at the Grand Bazaar. I feel like I forget someone, but who did I forget? Hey, how do I get to the Grand Bazaar again? It's downstairs, right? Not here. I forgot how to get in. Uh, should it, should it be? How do you get to the Grand Bazaar again? Maybe it's this side. Eh? I forgot the entrance. I think it's here. So we take this one. <coughs> I think there's two entrances. <coughs> Seriously, I forgot already. Oh yeah, down here. Okay. Oh yeah, she's up there. Is she still wearing the outfit? Everyone hold hands. I think I'll go perform a dance on stage later. I thought I saw almond is on. What is that? So they are, they are, they are, they turn to actual animals then. No longer origami. Eh? Wow. What a gorgeous lotus stage. Fit for the forest fairy herself, after all. I would have missed this whole thing. A wonderful sight indeed. But, uh, Madam Fairy, I believe the dog over there has been <laughs> staring at us for quite a while. Ah, uh, that's Swath. Don't worry, he's a good dog. He doesn't bite. It just was the, the dog or uh, the cat, Kirara. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> That's a good boy. I haven't <coughs> seen you in ages, Swath. 
No eating the frogs and hamsters here, okay? Frogs and hamsters. No yeah. eating. Oh yeah, can everyone else hear their voices here? Oh. Or is it just Nilo? Wouldn't be weird to hear talking animals. <laughs> ha. Ha. What a, what a well-behaved doggy. <laughs> you see, string. I told you, didn't I? The outside world isn't nearly. Let me guess. Almond is standing way far away, just like last time. Mm -hmm. You were right. But with that said, <laughs> Grandpa Almond, it. why are you hiding behind oh, okay, me? Okay, it's not that far. Just right behind me. <laughs> is that it? Oh. What what does Zuba think about this? It's a fact that talent is more important than hard work when it comes to the arts. Sometimes the truth hurts. Safety first. Safety first. I think that's the same still. It's just this. Uh, I should just give up. No, oh, that's Zub. Zub is here. Wait, if Zub is here. Oh, okay, I thought Swoop was still up there. <laughs> Is that all? I think that's all, right? Uh, I think that's it. Similanka, we have talked to Mona. Kale, Kaya, and uh, even Kli. Wait, is Fisher still here? I think I miss. I mean, we did talk to them, but is Fisher still standing here? <coughs> still haven't finished this work quite so Where are the people? Where is everyone? Ah! I knew it! Fisher and Oz! Are you remembering the Imina crush? <laughs> From last year or something? Last two years? <laughs> Oz! Uh, though I customarily refer to you as my familiar, in truth, I. Oh? I've always seen you as. Say no more, main Fräulein. I, Oswaldo Horafnavines, hereby pledge to always stay by your side. Hmm. <laughs> Quite rightly so. The Princessin should expect no less from her most favored Nachtrabin. I couldn't agree more, main Fräulein. <clears throat> this one I forgot to check uh, when I was about to go... Wasn't it the boat? Yeah, this was the boat thingy. I didn't check that. <laughs> okay, I think that's all. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching again. See you guys next time. This is going to be one long video, I don't know how it will end up. <laughs>